burn it down. We gon' burn it down. Burn it down. I can get this murder. 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 I killed it. It's murder. Go crazy, berserker. 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 I killed it, it's murder, 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 go crazy, berserker. I killed it.
Good morning. Happy 4th of July. Welcome in, guys. Hopefully everybody is doing well this morning. We are here. It's, it was a late night. We went out and uh, caught some fireworks here locally. And, uh, yeah. But we're here nonetheless. Morning, Delta. Happy 4th to you as well. All right, so this morning we are going to play Guild Wars 2. Um... I'm really not sure what we're going to do. Um, as a matter of fact, let's just go and hop into game here. Um, this is a guy I was messing around with a little bit yesterday, just trying to get a feel for the game again for the umpteenth time. So we, I think I cleared a character spot up just to make one this morning. So I think what that's what we're going to do is we're going to make one and go fresh. Let me... Uh, I really don't want this music on this morning. Um... So let's do this. Let's, let's turn it down and let's actually go back. Let's go back and let's turn on our music. That way we've got the the full involvement of the game. There we go. We want to get full immersion this morning and really kind of get into it. So, all right, so let's hop into it. I have no idea really what I want. I've got a Revenant and I've got uh, a Ranger at... Rangers at level 80, that Revenant's only level 11. So, um, not really sure what I even want to try, to be completely honest with you guys. I may go for a warrior. I feel like a char warrior would be pretty sick. Um... Warriors wear heavy armor, of course. Of course they do. I mean, what's some of the other ones? These are the melee classes here. These are the adventure classes, and these are the, the casters, technically. So, I don't know, man. Guardian sounds pretty cool, too. Guardians specialize in protective and defensive magic, so they're not really going to be super strong. Revenant, I feel like, was pretty good yesterday, playing it for the first time. Wow, that looks awesome, actually. That looks really sick. I'd say what? Let's just let's just level a revenant on stream. Let's just do that. Because why not? You can always delete the other one. Uh we're gonna make him gonna make him tall because why not? Physique. He needs to have abs. Yo, hide the armor. Let's go. Let's see his abs. There we go. I like this build right here. Looks good. All right. What kind of fur do we want? Ooh. That is interesting. I actually kind of like that. That looks pretty sick. I'll tell you what, let's do it. Let's do it to reflect my dog. Okay, this, that's a way that's way darker or way lighter than what it appears. Yes, I said let's make it look like my dog. <laughs> it's alright, I like my dog. Alright, cool. That's fine. They do have some pretty good character customization. I will say that. The Mohawk. Nah, not feeling the Mohawk. That's more like a faux hawk. Kind of like this. That looks good. Let's go white hair. What's his accessory? I don't see it, so I don't think this one has accessories. Okay, we'll leave that as just like a red in case we do get one somehow, some way. Ugh. I want a cute kitty, not a mean kitty. Horns. These are gnarly looking, the one I currently have. I like that. It looks good. Nah. Looks like a a jackalope. That's what that looks like. Does that have like skulls in the horns? What the heck? Tell you what, I like this one. I think that's what we're gonna go with. Perfect eye color. Leaf green, because I've got green eyes. 
Yeah, I'm not going to customize all that. All right, here's the important part. Got to get that orange in there. White, orange, orange. Ah, that's too much orange. There we go. The footwear. There we go. That's right. Let's go. All right. Um, all right. So the, here's the, here's the interesting part that I've never really kind of gotten with Guild Wars Two, and maybe that's because the first go round I was not really into it. But the story. That's what I want to focus on this go round. I fight with my blank blindfolded on to shut out the distractions of the physical world and focus my magical inner sight. My mist scrim. Simple, straightforward, and utterly effective. This blindfold is preferred by revenants who rely on utility and efficiency to get results. Veil Piercer. Form follows function with this blindfold, designed both to cover a revenant's eyes and help punch through the barriers that conceal the unseen. I'd rather watch you play this game because this game looks good and I might buy it with how it looks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Delta, I guess. Uh, Resplendent Curtain. Uh, the Resplendent Curtain is for revenants who choose to make a more elegant and stylish impression because even if they can't see the world around them, it can still see them. Nah, that's not me. So it's between the Veil Piercer and the Mist Scrim. Um, utility and efficiency. That's, that's kind of that screams my language right there. Trouble may follow me, but I use my blank to overcome it. Hmm, my ferocity. I'm ferocious. Threatening violence gets me further than anything else. I'm a natural, though I do try to use my powers of intimidation for good. Bam, there we go. I am proud to be, let's see, Blood Legion. I'm Blood Legion. I charge straight into battle. The Blood Legion pushes to the front line in any combat. We're powerful and bold, and none can match our prowess in the field. I'm Ash Legion. I use cunning to overcome my enemies. The Ash Legion teaches stealth and subterfuge. We end battles before they begin with infiltration, information gathering, and precision strikes. That's not a bad one. I'm Iron Legion. I march to the boom of war machines. The Iron Legion has... Ignited our industrial revolution. We perfected metalwork, cannons, and most importantly, guns. I think I'm going to go with Ash Legion, actually. I kind of like the the stealth and subterfuge. Not really sure what that does yet, but we'll see. I would die for my warband, especially Blank, my sparring partner. Uh, Riva fights hard and plays hard. Nothing gets her down. She always jokes that her best weapons are her engineering tools and a sharp sense of humor. To Riva, life isn't worth much if it isn't fun. I like that. Dinky was the smallest cub in our far, so he had to be twice as tough just to break even. He gets picked on because he's a guardian and not so smart, but I stand by him. He's always a good friend. Clawsburg lets his, butt, his blades do the talking. He's extremely calm and quiet, even for a thief. While others are making threats, Clawsburg is silently positioning himself to make a quick kill. Good thing he's on my side. I kind of like that as well. Uriel, our elementalist, is the most loyal soldier in the war band. She's also stubborn, bad-tempered, and protective, but at least she's honest. She stands by me, and I trust her with my life. Maverick is the best single combat fighter I've ever met. Unfortunately, he has a wild streak and an ego the size of the Black Citadel. He may be a loose cannon, but he knows how to make things epic. I'm going to go with Clawsper. I kind of like that. They tell me the soldier that sired me is a blank. A loyal soldier. I've heard my sire's name spoken with reverence ever since I was a, cl a cub in the far. I plan to live up to his reputation or exceed it. Flame Legion shamans once enslaved us. Because of this, my father, who's a shaman, is treated with suspicion and mistrust. I must overcome his... Nah. I won't do that. A gladium has no warband. My father turned his back on his. Now he's an honorless gladium with no respect for the chain. Okay. Nah. We're just going to go with loyal soldier. Let's just make it... Uh, should we just go Dioko? TV. This is a game where you can have like surnames too, which is interesting. Um, I don't know. Name is always the hard part. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to go with Dioko. Yeah, we'll just go with Dioko TV, whatever. That's fine. 
All right, storyline, guys. In this world of constant battle, I am the deadliest weapon. I respect no authority but the clenched fist of my legion. With engines of destruction, we have killed our gods. We reclaimed our homeland of Ascalon, and we planted victory banners on the graves of our enemies. Yet, if we waver, it could slip through our claws. Victory, at any cost. I live and die with secrets. I thrive with danger dwells. I'm a soldier in the service of the Ash Legion. I am the blade in the darkness. I've earned the respect of my comrades and forged alliances I can call on in times of need. Legion teaches stealth, patience, deception. We fight where the Citadel commands, but only to aid the Ash Legion's cause. Today, the Black Citadel's combined army will assault the ghosts that plague this land. I've been assigned to reinforce the Bulwark. Let the Blood Legion charge blindly to their deaths. Let the Iron Legion build their machines of war. You will find me in the shadows. So it's basically... This is my story. This is a recap of what we just selected, pretty much. Interesting. That's cool. See, I, I, the first time I played this game, I wasn't really focused on the storyline. And I tended to do that a lot when I played games. Like back when I was just hopping around and not taking into account the the lore and whatnot in the game. So I kind of want to change that a bit. And I think this is a great place to start because the, the two games we have played previously, Crowfall and Legends of Aria didn't have any storyline. They were strictly just open world stuff. All right, these are all dailies. All right. I like the fact that this is kind of immersive too, so I don't have to worry about music. Like, it's got music, it's got good sound and stuff as well. Okay, I know all this stuff. Just in time, soldier, the ghost army's been bashing the gate for weeks. They've finally broken through. Fight your way to the front. Report to Centurion Chris Knife for orders. For the Legion. What's up, Trash Panda? Good morning. Happy 4th to you as well, man. Good to see you. How you been, buddy? It's been a little bit since we've uh, we've we've talked. Always, always a pleasure to see you, my man. I I do. I kind of like the tab targeting though. It's a nice change of pace from having to actually aim all the time. All right, let's talk to this guy. Again, we are going to try to do all the dialogue, so bear with me. I hear you, man. Congratulations on the new house. So there's that. I could have swore this map was a little bigger. We'll make it a little bigger just so it fills out the UI nicely. All right. Oh, I guess I got to jump over that. Yeah, I can definitely understand the uh, that pain for sure. I've uh, we've moved how many times? I don't know. Just, just I guess really once. But that was in the last couple of years, and that was such a pain. Like, I don't want to do it again. 
Now we're just trying to get this one where we like it. Which I've got some... I won't be streaming Saturday morning because of that. Because we'll be doing some construction on the backyard. Uh, so, unfortunately, I'm going to miss Saturday's stream. But, yeah, man. Cool stuff. Hopefully, uh, hopefully everything is, has turned out the way you guys wanted it to. Actually, look at this real quick. Let me see what I'm running my graphics on. I think I've got it on highest, um, best appearance. Actually, yeah, I think so. That's what I thought. As we want it to be best appearance. It's not really that graphical, so that's uh, that's kind of nice. So, Trashman, how long have you guys been there? A couple weeks, a month, or? And refresh my memory, do you have kids? I want to say you do, but I don't want to make that assumption either. Alright, let's go. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Hit him so hard it'll take weeks to make him reappear. Let's get in here and fight. Nah, no kids, less than a month. Okay, cool. Yeah, the uh, the kids things, that's a game changer. So, when those come along, expect to be changed. <laughs> if that's in your plans, it may not be. It's not for everybody, and I understand that. Your gaming time is greatly affected, too. <laughs> if we're being honest here, we can be honest, right? Mine's not up yet, I don't think. At least he hasn't come in here. We were out late, so. I noticed yesterday doing some kind of like, just my bearings about me. They've, uh, their cinematics are pretty, pretty decent. I don't I don't put them up there with with Blizzard, but you know, they're pretty good. This game is definitely it's I don't know how much it's really changed, but it looks like they've done a lot better with some of the the, the final or the finishing touches from when I remember playing it back in goodness, four or five years ago. I actually logged into my main character and I had all these little uh like birthday things in my mail, like my character's birthday. But it was just a bunch of rewards, and it, it went back like I think four or five years. So I was like, "All right, cool, I'll take it." Yeah, it's gotten a lot more polished. That's the word for it. That's a great word for it. Like I, th I don't remember there being voices. I heard what you did down in that and like room. mouth movement here. Impressive. So sure, obviously, the shots. I just did my job. that didn't need to happen at the beginning, but. It's a nice touch now. Part of the team that took down Baradin and stopped the ghost assault. Smokestead is safe now, and you helped make it that way. People are still on edge, though. It'd help if they saw someone like you making the rounds, lending a hand. The quicker we get this place squared away, the sooner the legions can get back to business. You can help. I'd rather have volunteers, but if I have to issue an order, I will. That won't be necessary, Legionnaire. I hereby volunteer. You guys can't see that dialogue. You can hear it though, so that's good. Um, What's next? So, what kind of plans do you guys have for the fourth? I figured I'd get in here and stream till, you know. You can never have shoot, I don't know. Treasure. Eleven o'clock or so, and then uh, I think we're gonna do the pool eventually. I think that's our plan today. Is just hang out by the pool. Enjoy some time with the fam. Take a break from the work week. Man, yesterday was yesterday was a long day for me. But uh, hopefully you guys had a good start to your week. Hopefully you guys got some time off. I know Bakito got the week off, surprisingly. But So this is kind of this is a nice style, I guess you could say. 
to kind of lead you through your leveling. I kind of like that they make these points of interest. And uh, I don't really need to know that. It's just kind of nice to have like places you know where to go and like just bounce around, help you explore zones. All right, so I kind of want to read these. I, I was going through and just clicking accept yesterday, but I didn't really know what this stuff done, did. What it did. You just received a weapon. Your hero panel displays items from your inventory that you can equip, as well as your character stats. Open it by clicking the icon on the top left or by pressing the H key. Okay. Your stats have improved. Power increases damage. Precision increases critical hit chance. Toughness decreases incoming damage and vitality increases health. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, you've unlocked your second weapon skill. Press 2 or click your second hotkey to unleash a new, new attack. Which, yeah, by the way, the mace abilities are pretty cool. All right, upcoming rewards. You will get a fine equipment at level 6. Personal story unlocked at level 10. Plus 5 hero points at level 11. And crafting at plus 12. Cool. Cool. I definitely want to get into the crafting more in this game because I remember it being pretty decent um, back in the day, but I never really got into it. Hey, buddy. Good morning. Caden's awake. What is this spider doing? All right, what are we doing here? We are squishing spiders and their eggs, clean up the webs, flatten worm uh, mounds, and fill troughs with hay. Okay. Perfect. Let's go fill some troughs with hay. So, Trashman, have you played this game? I'm assuming you have. You say it's a lot more polished, so you've probably seen some sort of the uh, development over the years. I mean, a lot of people have, right? Is it... I, I don't remember. Is it... I know, like, I bought the expansion but is it free to play like just with the base package and you buy the expansions or is it you have to buy the original version or the first version of the game and then buy the expansions what are you doing buddy you gonna come say hi to the stream did you just wake up did you take your honey yet why don't you go downstairs and get, let mommy get your honey so you can eat breakfast sooner? What? Well, why don't you have her go get your honey, dude? All right. Whoa. I got an axe already. That was quick. Thanks for your help, Dioka TV. Now I can actually walk through my barn without getting a face full of spider web. Well, I didn't clear any spider webs, so that's probably not true. If you're ever looking for something to do, you're welcome to my ranch. Cool. Thank you. All right, so let's, I think we can, wait, unlock skin. Offhand requires level six. Okay, so I can only use main hand until then. I like the depositing of materials too, by the way. That's actually really handy. Let's make sure we're also getting all the POIs, the points of interest as well. I do like that it's got a little uh, navigator up in the top right that helps you move around and like where to go specifically. Yeah, it's free to play with the X-Pack purchases for further gameplay. Okay, cool. I couldn't remember. I probably, in, before I purchased the X-Pack... Oh, I've got my amount. This is why I purchased the X-Pack. was for amount, actually. Like, let's be honest. All right. Defeat Flame Legion and deactivate unexploded mortar shells. Don't throw... Oh, I should have used my ability there. Oh, there's, a, uh, there's an event over there. I'll go do that real quick. So yeah, with Path of Fire, I got this Raptor mount. And so I did that on my level 80 that I had from Lord knows how long ago. And um, yeah, I mean, it was, it's a lot better. I can tell you that right now, movement speed wise. Right, what are we doing? We just... I mean, you know, but to be honest, though, 30 bucks for an expansion is not that bad. Here's the thing I think Guild Wars has learned is they, they know their, their audience. What's up, buddy? I am streaming. Yes, sir. Hey, I, I really want you to go downstairs and get your honey, please. Okay? Go ask Mommy to give you your honey so you can eat breakfast. I don't want you to get grumpy. All right, can you do that for me?
How do you evade that? I think I've got a lot of these things on me. Probably. Can I not hit him? I guess I can't hit him with my two ability. I need to put on my other, uh, I've got like a, I guess it's a transmog. Dude, these things are kicking my butt. Holy smokes. Goodness gracious. That was rough. All right. Let's see. I, I Somehow I've got, all right, let's do outfits. This is what it is. Boom. Okay. So I've got this. I'm going to run around with this. I'll look much cooler and much more polished when I'm wearing that. All right, level three rewards, inventory, things like bags, weapons, and armor can be equipped. Open your inventory with the I key. Actually, for me, it's B, but okay. Um, player versus player, take capture points, slay, and this is where we're going to get to eventually, but I want to do a playthrough in this game and uh, just try to get accustomed to, you know, I got you, Rodux, Rust Pox. I need to pour some coffee. I played it when it first came out, but quit until the first X-Pack, then I played a bit, then quit like normal. Majority of the time is spent on WoW preparing for the X-Pack. Yeah, and we did that. Um, we, we played WoW a little bit the other night. You, I guess you probably missed that stream, Trash Panda. But uh, yeah, we're also anticipating that too. Uh, we're kind of in between some some games here. Um, we're waiting on the next patch for Crowfall. Give me a second, I'm pouring some coffee. Uh, we're waiting on the next patch for Crowfall. And which should be, it's probably going to be like, honestly, next week, if I had to guess. Unfortunately, I'm going to be out of town next week between Thursday and Sunday. So, um, I probably won't stream until, you know, a, a few days after that, that new patch drops. And then in terms of WoW, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to be getting on that too. We've been, we played it some the other night. I just want to say thanks for the help with clearing the wrecking yard. Between battling the ghosts and the flame legion, it seems like there's no time left for simple upkeep and maintenance. The wrecking yard has fallen into a sad state lately, but it is vital to supply the iron legion with enough metal to feed into the smelter. Without these raw materials, they couldn't continue to produce the war machinery we need for victory. You should know that your efforts were greatly appreciated. Awesome. Let's go check him out and see if he's got anything for us. Again, guys, we are going to try to do it like a a playthrough per se where we really kind of focus on you know doing everything that we need to do i'm gonna get this and equip it because why not um i really want to try to like take in some of the storyline from this now that it's more polished and has a better feel to it good morning by the way if you're just joining us welcome in happy fourth of july if you're in the states uh if you're not uh well happy fourth of july anyways um but we we're just going to hang out this morning, play some Guild Wars 2, and uh, just kind of give us a chance, a little break from what we've been playing. Where's my equipment? Okay, here it is. Uh, that's why. I need my. I need to actually see it. I think I can equip this on my... Yeah, there we go. I'm going to put this there. How do I do that? Um, equip. Oh. I thought that was a... That's if that's an accessory. Okay, oops, I misread that. That's all right. Cool. We're good. We're good. But yeah, so we're gonna get into BFA, as as most of you guys know. Um, we did a little bit of that the other night. We just PvP a little bit, and I'm probably gonna focus on PvP with BFA more since they're changing some things. Um, in that front, because I I mean I just honestly want to. I've never really given PvP a, a good shot on WoW, and I think that's really kind of where I'm, I'm focused for the most part in terms of um, my gameplay. I think Crowfall has kind of pushed us in that direction and, and, and you know, kind of reminded us what we enjoy about PvP, so that'll be good. But, I'll, I mean, you know, if I find the right group of people, I'll also do some PvE because I've always enjoyed PvE in WoW. You know, all this is kind of like until Crowfall hits later, like in 2019. Um, I think you're, we're going to constantly see some some Crowfall content. I'm going to use most likely WoW in the upcoming months to... Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. To uh, do some filler time, some streams and stuff, but who knows? Maybe Guild Wars 2. We'll see. 
that's the beauty of streaming, you know? One day we could be playing one game. The next day we could be playing a different game. There's just so many games out there nowadays. Right, let's go back the other way. I think we're getting further away from the objective here. But nonetheless, it's all about what you guys want to see, what you guys are enjoying, what you guys are playing. This one just seemed like, honestly, I was playing it yesterday. <clears throat> it kind of has a Crowfall-esque feel to it just because of, of the style of game it is. Uh, other than like tab targeting, it's it's kind of eerily similar. <clears throat> All right. How many more we got? Just a little bit more, and then we'll check and see if he's got anything for sale. Actually. <coughs> Got to keep checking on those those vendors as you complete. What do they call these? The hearts. Either way, you got to keep checking in on on the guys that give you the missions. I, I guess that's gonna be a mission. That's what we're gonna call it. I don't know if that's the proper term. I feel like it's good enough. Oh, there's an event up here. Cool. Let me check him to see if he's got anything. See if we can get an upgrade. Ooh. Plus three precision. Um, no, I want to focus on HP for now until we kind of figure out how this class plays. Because I, I did notice a little bit on my other character that it was a little squishy at times. All right, what are we doing here? Flame Legion waves defeated. All right, good deal. Let's do it. Let's go. Thanks for your help with the army. We'll soon be ready to fire the old place up. If you hadn't taken care of those more shells and pesky flame legion rogues, it might have been forever before we could get back in the arms business. I know you must be tipped for all the fighting at the forefront, but the way you stepped up and pitched for the war effort here was commendable. You are a credit to the legions. Why, thank you. All right, so does that count as... Are these waves? Because they're not actually in the little circle there. Yeah, I guess so, because it says Flame Legion waves defeated in 3 of 8. I don't really feel like this is a wave. This is more like a a few individuals. So how is the PvE in this game, though? Is, is, it, is that a thing? I mean, I knew Guild Wars, obviously, it was built around PvP. And I think I've seen some people do, like, stream some PvE, but I don't really know, like, what the PvE scene is in this game. So this should be the last wave here. Yep. Bingo, bango, bongo. Alright, looks like we're going up north here next. <clears throat> Let's do it. Their mountain mechanics, like, on the raptor seem pretty, like, realistic to the type of model the raptor has. It's so, like it takes a second to get it going, and then like the turning radius is really tight because of the short legs. I thought that was pretty cool. You don't often see that. You just see them like basically kind of clone the the uh, what you call it, the movement between mounts. Of course, I haven't seen another one yet, so I guess I can't really say that with accuracy. Defeat Scrit, prevent the theft of cannonballs, fire cannons, and collect devour eggs. All right, sounds good. Let's do it. Oh yeah, there's some Scrit. Do we go up here, I wonder? Yeah, it looks like it. Ooh, let's fire these. What are we firing at? Are we just firing? I mean, I can just sit here and fire cannons, but I don't know what 
purpose that's doing. Hmm. Okay. Let's go up in here. There's a POI anyway, so we'll run up here and do this. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, let's go. I like the combat, man. Combat's pretty fun, so. Oh, little man is returning for more trouble. You took your honey? Awesome, dude. Where are you? Awesome, dude. Good job. Did we already finish this? No, okay. I was gonna say, why is why wouldn't it be picking up in here? I'm still kinda in the cave. Whatever, we'll just kill this guy. Just for fun. Alright. Weapon skill three unlocked, banking points of interest. Alright, cool. I think offhand unlocks at level six. Yes. All right. <clears throat> I don't know why we like. Is it giving me credit up in here for these guys? I'm sure it is. Should be, anyways. It wasn't back further in the the cave though. What kind? What time can he eat? Eight forty. Okay. Eight fifteen. Dang, dude, fig bars and yogurt? You get two fig bars? Boy, that's a feast. That's not breakfast. That's a feast. It will be in a few minutes, buddy. I, hey, I'll, I'll tell you when it's when it's down, okay? No, you're not going to the gym? Okay. Buddy, you guys stay here and help me stream. I need your help, okay? Can you help me stream? Family meeting in the stream room, guys. <laughs> you taking Ty? Probably not an hour, but you know, if you make a loop and come back, you can probably probably make it. What's up, buddy? Yes, yes, you can. I know what you're about to ask. Yes, after breakfast. Okay, so I want you to play until you get breakfast, which is like 25 minutes, okay? And then after that, you can get it. Sound good? Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, man. All right, cool. That one's done. Are they, are, is that where colonies or missions? Goodbye, ankle biters. Hey, thanks for cleaning out the pest in our training area. I haven't seen a single script since. I'll make sure the legions hear about your hard work. Well, thank you, Thegrin Topjaw. Uh, you're a great dad. Oh, thanks, Delta. Appreciate that, man. Let's see. What is this? Hero challenge. Raise your weapon. I need to test your metal. Oh, snap. What, what are you going to punch me for, bro? That was rude. Delta, what do you think about how this game looks, man? I know you said it looks better, but more action-packed than the other one. I wish you had a dad like me. Ah, I'm sure your dad is is just fine. This is uh, we all have good and bad moments. Right now, it's it's it, it, we're in, we're all in a good mood right now. Let's just say that. Looks good, good man. Hopefully, you're enjoying it. All right, let's. Uh, we got to go learn how to dodge. Where are we doing that at? Yeah, some of the features that they put in since the last time I played are very nice. Like this, this little compass at the top that like gives you an arrow of where to go. They didn't have that before, and also I didn't check that guy to see if I could buy anything decent back there. But it's all good. I'm not really worried about it. All right, 
Let's go learn how to dodge. Tell me how to live my life. I know how to dodge. Bet I can sneak past him. Yeah, we'll see. That was tough. I still feel like I ate that. Alright, let's see. What do we got now? Protect the fisher folk from the drakes. Clean up tar and fix broken traps around Lake Feratals. Okay. Um, sounds good. Do I need to kill these? I feel like, yeah, I feel like just killing this would be best. I don't think I got any credit for that, though. Whatever. It's all good. Yes, yeah, I mean, this game is definitely a good-looking game, for sure. It's, uh... Whoa, bro! Why are you coming at me, homie? Let's go. Can we just be friends? See your feet? No, I don't see your feet. You're over there. How can I see your feet? My son. Just three-year-old things. Dad, can you see my feet? No. No, I can't. I kind of like, too, that your one is, is auto-attack, so you can just sit here and drink some coffee while you, you kill a mob. I think this game can... Can pretty much be played with mouse only. You don't have to have. Well, for me, mouse only because I use. I actually use the the mouse one of the mouse buttons to do the to toggle run, which is kind of nice. But you can technically click everything. What a jerk, man! I res this guy and he just comes running over like I'm gonna kill him. Daddy, now no, buddy, not yet. I'll tell you, okay. One more little thing and we should be set. Where's a little cage or a tar spill? Uh, matter of fact, let's just kill these guys. That's more fun. Let's be honest. It's more fun to kill things. Holy smokes, where did you come from? Yellow. Ouch. Can you not do that again, please? Thank you. That would be appreciated. I'd like to get to a point to where, like, I feel confident and comfortable using the level 80 boost that I have. But I've got a lot to learn and relearn about this game before I do that. Because I do have one. I actually think I've got... I've got some other ones that, like, boost you up to 50 from the birthday. Which I, I may have that on multiple characters. So, we can always change it. Now, for those of you who played Guild Wars 2, correct me if I'm wrong. Can't you... If you, like... And I, I, I don't know if this is a thing or if it ever was a thing. I'm pretty sure it was. But even if you delete a character and then, like, remake the same class, don't you have the levels or something along those lines? Like, you, you, you basically keep the same levels. You just don't have certain items, maybe? Well, how does that work? Like, if you want to delete a level 80 to make another level 80, if you ever go back and decide to to make that character again, do you have an opportunity to save those levels? I thought that was a thing once upon a time. Could not It could be a situation where it wasn't, I'm not sure, but I think that's what it was. You gotta take a look at the uh, vistas and just look at the, the video and the artwork that they do. Hey Caden, can we not do that please? That's just really loud, dude. Can we not do that? Yeah, cause it's, it's a little loud. Okay. <clears throat> Are you dressed up like a firefighter yet? All right, what's this guy got for me? Kill Flame Legion, destroy their turrets, power sources, and magical devices. All right, noted. Welcome back, by the way, Delta. So I guess we need to go up in this cave. Is there a POI up here, I wonder? What the heck? Oh, I was like, who's this guy following me? 
Thought it was like some something that's supposed to help me out. I'm like, nope. Not at all, actually. I've got a fisher following me. Okay. Hey, this thing's beefy. Or I'm just missing attacks. No, he's beefy. So what do y'all's what are y'all's plans for the fourth? I know we mentioned that earlier. You guys got any any exciting stuff planned? I'm just gonna go get both of these together. It's a little easier to do some AoE. I think my basic attack has AoE as well. Like I think the third attack. If I'm not mistaken. Maybe it's the second one. Yeah, the second one. It's a sweep. May sweep is what it is. Let's see, where else? Some good music. That's what I'm saying. The immersion in this game is pretty good. Not needing like background music or anything like that to uh, hold your attention. To revive the Fisher. I don't. I don't know that I get any credit for this with Latera Painstorm. What a name, by the way, Painstorm. Could you imagine, like, if your name was in real life, last name was Painstorm? Like, would would you guys think that would be sick, or would that be, like, overboard? I feel like that'd be sick. Yeah, I'm, I'll bring the pain. The pain storm, baby. All right. It's a nice little looking little cave. Because of your recent selfless efforts in helping to rid the cave of the flame intruders and their equipment, I can now say with confidence that the area is flame proof or at least flame resistant. I will see to it that the brass is informed of your heroic actions. These guys are so great telling my superiors about my heroic actions. All right, let's go check this vendor real quick to see if we can get anything, any upgrades. Because I have so much karma that I have to spend. I was not trying to revive him, but hey, since we're here, let's do a good deed. Let's revive that Fisher. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Perfect. Get us some gloves, man. That's nice. Good stuff. Are we level six yet? No, we're almost there. I want to equip this axe. All right, where do we need to go next? Um, looks like we need, we're headed to that scout. Perfect. Let's do it. Oh, you guys want to fight? Y'all want a tango? What in the world? What? What is that? That's a mount? Holy smokes. <coughs> the real Ashford, he says. Lots of POIs in this area. What in the world? Come out. I'm just getting bashed on. It's rude. Es es Escalonian peasants. You and your peasantry. That's level six. All right, so we haven't really had many events. We've had a couple, but not many. I feel like that's important to leveling up. Oh, and I say that, and here we go. Uh, let's see. Stay near the... Okay, so we're just going to help alleviate their fears. <laughs> See what we can do. Maybe 
this wasn't a good idea after all. I don't think it can last much longer. Oh come on! Don't don't be, don't be a wuss. I'll protect you, my lovely cubs. Yo, what's up, dude? No, buddy. I'll tell you when. You got ten more minutes, okay? He wants to eat breakfast so bad. No, please tell us. How? That law dude keeps Corby stabbed him to death. Ghosts. Ah! Ghosts. What are you guys doing here if y'all can't fight? You gotta be able to defend yourself, bro. Oh, yeah? Me too, man. Me too. We're both gonna lead an entire legion. And some world versus world. That's what we're gonna do. No, -uh, you made it up. Yeah, I don't really feel like a lot of the voice acting was in the game four years ago. It's definitely kind of cool because you don't have to read, you can just listen, which is nice. Dude, there's a lot of little events around now. Uh, cool, I got fine equipment. I got my weapon skill unlocked. Um, too pretty to die. Nice. All right, let's do that. All right, cool. Let's finish this off real quick, and then we're going to equip the second weapon. All right, let's see what this does. We're still going to stay with these guys? Want to see my scab? All right. Um, is that better than this axe I got? Yeah, just barely. Is that better? Let's see if that axe is better. Dude, come on! I'm trying to equip weapons over here, bro. Can we just chill out for a minute? Can we just take a chill pill so I can play the game and equip some stuff? Thank you. I guess not. Cool. We'll just roll with this then until we get a break. Guys, again, good morning. Welcome in. Hopefully you guys have gotten your coffee. Your Wednesday, July 4th morning is off to a great start. Thank you guys for joining us this morning and uh, just hanging out. Uh, it's just not a time we typically stream, but uh, obviously it's a lot of fun. I'm ready to pass along to the Norse Gratitude of Villagers of Smokestead for your help, your efforts, and aiding our attempts to regain control of vineyards. Outside Smokestead Village, we're an inspiration to those of us who were beginning to weary of the seemingly endless conflict. Because of your help, we now feel safe enough to continue our... Search for the ghost problem that inflicts this area. When we succeed, I'll make certain that your part in the victory is well known. Perfect. Where are these guys going now? Guys. Hello. People are shooting us. I like the mace ability. I think yesterday I was messing around with like double swords. It was okay. I like the, the AoE though, the mace. It's actually kind of nice. I guess I can mount up, catch up. Like, where are you guys going? I feel like we're just running in circles. Do you guys have a, a goal, or are we just roaming? <sighs> your moa jerky and my yak butter. That's awesome. What's up, dude? Oh, let's put that here. Not yet, Caden. I will tell you. Stop asking me, please, okay? I'm kind of getting a little tired of you asking me when I told you I would tell you, okay? I will tell you, you have seven more minutes. Okay? <clears throat> I want to go do some of these other events, but come on, go play. But I can't until I finish this one. Just let the boy have some breakfast, my brother says. What's up, Ron? I didn't realize you were in here. I can't, dude. I can't. His medicine is... Uh, I didn't even realize that was you. Let's at least party up, bro. Jeez. I didn't even, like, put two and two together until you said that in chat. 
His medicine is not down yet, so. He's got to let the honey soak his esophagus. Uh, elemental lodestones. <clears throat> what are you running, by the way? What class is that? Level 8 engineer. Yo, you want to hop in Discord? Ah, oh, dang it. I got to relaunch Discord. Hold, please. What? What? Okay, it's good. Discord is doing funny things to my computer. I won't be on for long. Okay. Not a problem. I'm sure y'all have uh, 4th of July plans. I need to take some of these load zones back over. What is this up here? Got a mo. Oh, rip. Rip a Rooney. You should have, like, at least messaged me to say you were online instead of, like, just randomly saying, hey, let the boy have. I was like, who in the world is telling me in game to let my son have some food? And the fact that you found me, it's weird. Confused. It was more fun this way? Ah, that's true. I don't doubt that. Stream sniping? Yeah, well, that's the story of my life, bro. Story of my life. At least people can't kill me stream sniping unless I'm in a world versus world or something. All right, let's go drop some of these off. I've got a ton of these lodestones. Hello? Check this out, Ryan. What's up with that, dude? You like that? That's the Path of Fire expansion. You get that with like the opening quest. Or you get a little raptor, but it unlocks mounts for you. <laughs> In my opinion, if anything, that's worth 30 bucks. <laughs> like, let's be honest. All right, let's go turn in the rest of these that I've got real quick, and then we'll uh, carry on to one of these other little events. All right. What's up, Days? Good morning. Welcome in. I'm sure everybody's like, dude, why are you streaming on a Wednesday morning? I think we need to go up top to kill the guy up there. I don't know how we get there, though. Good afternoon. Yeah, well, good morning. Dang it. How do we get up there? That's weird. I don't even know how we get up there. Do you have to work today, Thaze? There's an event in the vault below. How do you get in there? Like, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Where can I see you? Okay, I see you over there. Oh, okay, I see you. I got you, I got you, I got you. Nah, I've been off lately? What do you mean, lately? Like, you're taking some time off, or what? I was wondering where those events were. The fact that I can ride a raptor inside is pretty nuts. But also incredibly cool. I'm like fearless now that I have people with me. I'm just like running in here, whatever. They'll revive me, right? Okay, I don't know why I jumped over there. I guess I had this guy targeted. <clears throat> Thais, I don't know if you know, man. I got, uh, I got WoW going, so that's a thing. 
Not sure if you saw any of the stream highlights the other day. I uh, had had some time of work. Any depression uh, side effects were a bit much. In. I got you, man. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully everything gets worked out though, bud. If you quit playing League of Legends, that wouldn't happen. I'm just kidding. Or if you wouldn't be a Team Liquid fan, that also wouldn't happen. <laughs> Lol. All right, buddy, it's time to eat. Time to eat, boy. Come here. What do you want first, yogurt or fig bar? Yogurt? Of course, you always want yogurt first. All right, take it and go. What's up, Pratt? Welcome in, man. Long time no see, homie. And look, you got that moderator tag, dude. Look at that. That's good. That's good stuff. I never knew what this July 4th stream would, would drag in, and we it already drug in the dog. The Pratt dog. Team Liquid best team in A. That's right, I guess. Sure. Stream is lagging. Delta always lags for you, homie. Yeah, he told me that, but I, t I told him that he can he can dispute that. There's ways to get around that. <clears throat> all right, cool. So that's, uh, we're done with that. Um, all right, Ron, where to now? I guess back out, huh? I don't have any sort of tools, so I can't hit that. Back out we go. Let's pour some more coffee on our way out. What's up, Pratt, man? Good good to see you, buddy. And I'm glad that Shoes is back in the saddle. I've, I've missed that guy. Those were some, that's like I was telling him, man. Some of those times that we played uh, were some of the best times I've had gaming. Yeah, definitely, Delta, you ha seem to have some issues, man. I would honestly, too, if you're if you're watching the stream, like, on a second monitor and, like, a window that's not your main window, you're going to have to refresh periodically because uh, Twitch will do that. It'll lag. Oh, no, I'm just spilling coffee everywhere. Give me a sec, Ron. Hang on. I have to keep this in a Yeti to keep it warm and then like re-pour it so I don't have to like keep make thirty or keep making thirty trips downstairs for coffee. Uh it was my birthday yesterday too, and I never worked for my birthday. Well happy birthday, Thaze. Happy birthday, man. <clears throat> Wish I'd have known that yesterday. Alright, Ron, where to? Do we want to go to this? POI or let's see what level is that down there hey Pratt thanks for the sub man appreciate it and again welcome in buddy you lead all right we're gonna go down this way let's go get this uh, waypoint welcome to the crew fist bump bam high five for July birthdays that's right um, the real patches who's who's in game with me right now Ryan that's my brother um, his birthday is July 13th All right, what do we got here? Oh, uh, let's see. What do we have to do? I need to establish four basic tools. We need to. Okay, sure, whatever. Let's do it. So we got to protect. Got to escort. So let's escort. Let's go. Move. Do oh they're talking. There's dialogue. Okay. The music was so loud I couldn't hear the dialogue. How does that happen? Did you finish your yogurt? You want your Oh dude, I need to switch out my weapons, I think. Although I like the mace. I, I would I would take less damage for the AoE ability. You want your fig bars? Okay. Why don't you go sit over there and eat these? Take your water too. Here. What do you say? Thank you. <clears throat> so, Pratt, what you been into, man? Like, what games you been playing, bud? Ron, just tell Sarah that the, the yard will mow itself, that you don't have to mow today. A little bit of everything. I got you. CSGO, Smite, StarCraft. Nice, dude, StarCraft. That's that's one I always look at. I'm like, man, I'd love to fire it up, but 
I'd get so like involved in it, man. I'd have to like go back to all my my lessons from the good old days. I'm playing StarCraft. Unclaimed loot. My inventory's full. Let's change that. Let's deposit. There we go. Compact. There we go. I'm so bad at StarCraft. Like, I like it. I'm just not very good. All right, see you, Delta. Take it easy, man. <clears throat> yeah, I uh, when I was in college, you guys may have heard this story. Sorry if you have. Um, when I was in college, I, I didn't have time to play, like, group-based games because between class and um, baseball, games, travel... I, I couldn't play anything that was like MMO related. So I played StarCraft because I could play it pretty much anywhere. My laptop ran it. I took it on the road, um, was able to practice on the road and all that jazz. So it was actually just my game. It was my go-to game. And again, you guys have probably heard this, but my, my groomsman cake was actually a StarCraft 2 cake when I got married. Pretty crazy. Didn't, looking back on it, not really sure... All right, I'm surprised that my wife actually allowed that. <laughs> but she's like, hey, it's your cake. You can do whatever you want with it. So I was like, all right, cool. I'm doing StarCraft. Man, I've got... I need to really kind of empty my bags. Deposits. The wife let me do that. Yeah, for sure. You guys didn't know? I, I'm... I, I could have sworn you knew that, if anybody knew that. Because we talked about StarCraft in the past. I've got a picture of it. Let me, uh, hang on one second. I'll have to Facebook it. Give me a second. It may take me a second. And having to, like, keep up with the game, too. Let's see. Photos. What, dude? Okay, that's fine. All right, so here's here's the picture of it. <clears throat> like that's a legit StarCraft II like cake. All right, cool. I can sell to this person. Good. I need to in a bad way. Stop moving so I can sell you my junk. All right, let's see. Let's compact this. Oh, of course I have a bag that I can add more slots to. Of course big dummy yeah so that's pretty cool what now? Speak. And it was funny because my dad gave a best man speech and he was like a couple weeks before he was like hey um Tell me about StarCraft 2. I was like, what do you want to know about StarCraft 2? Ooh. Two hand. I may try this just for fun. Uh, I was like, what do you want to know about StarCraft 2? I, like, I don't know. Just, you know, where do I get it? How do I play it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it actually turns out he, he went in and uh, he played the game and, like, tied that into the the best man's speech, which was pretty crazy. It's pre I mean, it was pretty cool, too. But... Good times, man. Good times. All right. So, which one do I need to keep? I need to keep. I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep that mace. I think it's time. We'll get rid of that. The mace is probably. Yeah, I mean, it's. Let's see. Don't need that. Not going to use a, a freaking staff. Nope, nope. Um, I'll keep that. I'll keep. I'll make a double axes eventually, or maybe a sword. All right, what are we doing over here, Ryan? Brad, did Shoes get his uh, gaming computer? I don't know what any of these do, by the way. Boom. That's sick. All 
All right, I can dig this. He said he was getting it back Monday. Gotcha. Didn't ask me for a Steam login yesterday. Yeah, he told me he was going to ask you about that. Oh, that's nuts. So I can jump that far, but I don't actually go. I just go with my person for that ability. That's, that's unique. I mean, it's not... It's different. Because typically you're used to, like, your actual character jumping that far and staying there. I like this freaking hammer though. Hammer time. He never gave it to me. Lol. So he thought you had it, but you never did. Where, bud? Maybe. I thought she went for a walk. Guys, give me one second. I just want to make sure nobody's breaking into my wife's car. Give me a second. All right, sorry about that. Um, yo, what's up, Xanthem? Welcome in, man. Have you played Good Wars too much? Not in a long time. All right, I got to go talk to you guys later, Pratt. Take it easy, man. Thanks for dropping by. Hey, buddy, what's up? Yes, you can. Sorry about that. I uh, I heard some door slam. My wife went on the walk. She was bringing my dog back. So I just ended up shutting the garage door. She can get back in, but... <clears throat> She's going for like an hour walk. I was like, wait a second, who's down there opening doors? <laughs> like, is somebody breaking into our house? Because she, with, with the garage door open, I never know. Dude, I like this hammer play, by the way. I don't know why, it just seems a lot of, like a lot of fun. I like the AOE, I guess, from it too. Cool, buddy. Uh, but yeah, Zane, I haven't I haven't played much. I literally logged back in yesterday for the first time. Um, I got POF because I wanted to kind of... First of all, I wanted the mount. The mount was pretty sick. Where'd you go, Ron? Okay, you're on me. Um, so I got that. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It's I, I played around with it yesterday. It's been fun. Um, this go around, I just want to do the storyline because I, I honestly, man, like... When I played it the first time, I didn't really keep up with the storyline much. And it, I've always been bad about that. But I kind of want to be those guys that kind of like know what's going on too, you know? So it, it's, uh, I said, look, I'm going to change my mentality here. Hey, buddy, you need to go get some headphones. I did. Okay, plug them in. So, yeah, that's what uh, that's what we're going to do this go around. We're going to make it more, more interactive. I'm going to pay attention to the storyline more and just try to understand what's going on and grasp everything. Uh, still loving Crowfall, taking a small finger between myself, but still committed. To yeah, no, absolutely. Still committed for the long haul, for sure. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm kind of waiting for 5-7, truthfully. So this is just a great way for me to uh, to do that and, you know, still be playing something in the same genre. I felt like WoW's probably, for a stream game, It's I'm probably not going to get a lot out of it uh, in terms of, like, new viewership and just trying to attract some new people to the community. So I, I felt like... Um, Guild Wars 2 is probably a bit more in my wheelhouse to attract some new viewership. So that, that's the goal is just to kind of get some people like here's what I want to do at the end of the day. Like I'd like to take, you know, some people from those communities. I don't know why I'm fighting here, but it, it just looks like fun. Uh, oh, there's a there's an event here. That's fine. Um, but being able to attract some new players to uh, Crowfall is going to help too, and, and being more diverse with the games I play is just going to attract a new audience as well. So that's important. 
been playing Albion online? Yikes. That game is way too involved for me to just like pick up and place of Crowfall. Of course, I, I never got into it. I've got it, but I never got into it that much. I think, I mean, it's a decent game. Um, it just was not my cup of tea in terms of the whole. Um, I don't know. I just didn't like the fact that you had to be on at certain times in order to, to capitalize on areas. And it just seemed like if you were with a big guild, like you were better off running with like a Zerg or a, like a bigger guild. Like small guilds didn't have a place. I guess you did if you were in the alliances, but I don't know. I don't even come for the game half the time. I just come for the chat. Yeah, for sure. Well, and that's honestly that's what that's what I want it to be about, anyways. At the end of the day, like, like I I would lo love to have a stream where we could just sit, you know, in uh, the standby screen and just chat and just have a good time. That to me is a lot of fun. Dude, that's a big freaking knockdown, by the way. I mean, it helps when I'm playing a fun and interactive game too. Let's be honest. Guild Wars 2 is a good side game for something like Crowfall when you need a break from hardcore PvP. <clears throat> yeah, and this game really honestly has a lot of similarities to Crowfall, like in terms of just style. Uh, like, oh yeah, it's not obviously not the exact same, but I actually need to read like what these skills do. I'm just literally mashing buttons. I feel like 4 is a firewall and it blocks like projectiles, projectiles. Wait, are we supposed to be defending these from getting hit? Because we're getting destroyed right now. Okay, yeah, that, that tent's completely gone, so let's just focus on this tent. I think we're already... This is a lost cause at this point. This is going to be a failure. That's a lot of people, though, by the way. Event failed. Yeah. Figured as much, man. Like, I felt like we had a ton of people here. Like, how did we fail that? I don't know. But the cool thing about Guild Wars 2 is even when you're leveling, like, it's pretty active. Like, there's a lot of stuff going on, you know? Right, we need, we need to go get this point of interest up here. I think it's supposed to fail. Oh, okay. Uh, new character? Yeah. I basically started a Revenant that I could play on stream that we can kind of level together. What's up, Bamboo? Welcome in. Good morning. I, actually, we also need to do this Vista. How can we do this Vista? You want to do it? Aha, you're, you're doing it already. I'm just going to follow you, bro. Don't, don't fall. Stream's watching. Pressure's on. I'm definitely going to end up falling. It's a 100% chance. But yeah, I don't want to use my level 80 boost. I actually, like, I want to do a playthrough and just kind of remember the, the, not remember, but learn the storyline as much as we can. Anyways. And just enjoy it. Enjoy it for what it is, you know? So many times I, I try to play games and just get through them instead of, like, actually enjoying the journey there. I know it sounds, like, really nerdy, but... It makes, it makes for better content, too, personally. For you guys, for me, it's just more enjoyable if you can enjoy the storyline and, like, the game for what it is. <clears throat> I think we all get consumed sometimes with, like, comparing games to other games. And at the end of the day, like, none of that matters. It's, it's really just about what kind of enjoyment do you get out of the game. And well, I don't know why I'm running into every tree. Uh, but, you know, what kind of enjoyment do you get out of playing the game? And uh, did you did you have a good experience? At the end of the day, that's what matters. Not all the comparisons. All right, let's go. Let's get that POI. Good. Check this vendor out real quick. Sell my junk. Right. Shield use requires the elite specialization herald. I feel like I'm going to run a shield on this character. I don't know why. I just feel like eventually I'm going to do that. 
Uh, yeah, no, no need to rush though. You're basically just rushing to do SPP fractals, raids, or WWE if you don't take time to enjoy. Yeah, exactly. I I, I want to enjoy the game at the end of the day. That's what it is. And uh, you know, I, I hate that it would be boring for some people, but I do know that some people don't really care to watch playthroughs. Um, but for me personally, I, I'm going to enjoy it, and uh, hopefully, in turn, others will enjoy it with me. It's also fun, too, when I've got my broski playing beside, beside me, which I think both of my brothers now are... Uh, I mean, I know they have the game. I know they uh, we, we all play the game. We've played the game in the past, so hopefully we can get some more play time with them. would be cool. We don't play we don't play many games together much anymore like we used to. Cool. I got some gathering tools. All right. Let's see. What do we have to do here? Protect Exterminus HQ by killing Flame Legion in the area. Okay. Cool. But yeah, if any of you guys play Guild Wars 2, like uh, Trash Panda said, I, I'm pretty sure it's free to play. Uh, the base package, and then you just get the expansions and uh, upgrade accordingly. So check it out if you guys want to. It's 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 a pretty fun little game. I say little game. It's it's very big. And and what I mean by that is both download and size and magnitude of the game. It's just a it's an in depth game too. I mean, I think I think one could make a comparison uh, in some facets to like the depth. Of, like, I don't know how how in depth is the crafting. Like, I never really got into that. I, I'm pretty sure it's pretty in depth though, with all the uh, exploration, experimentation stuff that you have to do to get recipes. Meh. It's just meh. Like, what's the main source of gear though? Is it? Is it crafting or is it PvP or PvE or all the above? I played original Guild Wars. I think my brother plays Guild War 2. What's up, Misty? Welcome and good morning. Yeah, I played the original Guild Wars. That game was freaking fantastic. I loved it. Hey, Saladid. Thanks for the follow. Hang on one second, Ron. Just, just kill them all, dude. I got to text Katie back. She was like, you shut the garage door? I was like, yeah, I got freaked out that thinking somebody was in our garage. Uh, hope you're doing well, Salad. Good morning to you, man. Ascended is what you want. That's the pink outline. It's behind time gated crafting if you make it. Um, uh, you're going to have to like simmer down now, Bamboo, and like let me know what you mean by that. Like it's behind what? <laughs> Shot who? <laughs> Can get in PvP and World versus World. Gotcha. Did we? Round? I think we're outside of that range, by the way. Okay, there we go. Now we're we're good. I tried farming Crowfall, ran all the way over to Miller's respite and died instantly to PvP. -er. Piston logged out. Are you not a PvPer? What do you need, Talented? Like, we need some stuff, man. Holler at us. We, we've got some, get some gear and stuff. Advanced gear? You need advanced gear? Okay. Well, you're a druid, right? So you would need blacksmithing. Okay. Um, I don't have a blacksmith. I'm working leather working currently. So I would reach out to Phoenix Rock in our chat. Um, he's got blacksmithing. Gwartham also has blacksmithing. Griven has blacksmithing. Reach out to any of those guys. If you go out and farm some ore, they'll be more than happy to make it. Or if you need some ore, let me know. I've got some. All in between staff and leather. Wait, why blacksmith? Because druids wear mail. Unless you want leather. Yeah, druids wear mail. 
If you get into World of Warcraft, just let me know what server if you're going to be playing this more. Yeah, Zane, I think this is going to be kind of a side game along with, you know, just prep for uh, Battle for Azeroth. And then Crowfalls. Crowfalls is obviously going to be the main thing whenever it's it's active and people are playing it. So, well, yeah, we're definitely we're gonna we're we're gonna try to to keep it fresh and exciting. I felt like we were we weren't doing a good job of that playing Crowfall and just running around on morning streams and gathering. I didn't feel like it was it was good for anybody, um, mainly the viewer. So, Ron, where are we going, dude? What are we doing? Jumping around like crazy, bro. This mission sucks. Indeed. Uh, the craft ascended. There are specific pieces that you can only craft once per day. Okay, I got you. Wow, I'm dumb. No, you're not. That's that's actually not a very known fact, like well-known fact, to be honest with you. Um, why are you going way over there? Everything is so spread out. True. Crowfall's dragging until new content, but it is pre-alpha. So yeah, exactly. So you know that's why people. Oh, you've already given up. On no, I haven't given up on Crowfall. Like, it's a hardcore PvP game, and there's like. 30 people online right now that's are not pvping you know why why would i why would i go and like you know browse around and literally just waste hours when it's not happening right now i mean it's gonna be, it's gonna be a great game it's still in pre-alpha though and people are just waiting like with a wipe looming who in their right mind wants to go farm a bunch of stuff only to have it wiped you know in a, in a couple weeks it's just the nature of testing and like pre-alpha, and it's so funny because like people get people almost get like defensive, like when you play in other games. It's like, dude, like you want me to go play a, a like just a a game that's not doesn't have much going on. Like I feel like you would want to watch something more exciting, you know? This idiot wants to farm stuff. Well, no, no, no. Sal, you're different because and I was the same way when I first got into it on five five. Nobody was playing. I was because I was like I got so much to learn, and uh, I think you're the same way. You're kind of in the boat I was back in th at the end of five five. Um, okay, we we got this one. This one's done. Okay. Uh, am I sure I'm done? Um, no, I'm not actually. Yes, I'm done. Because I just I just double click the reward. I'm good. We're good. Okay, we got it. The heart's filled in, bud. <laughs> Alright. Yo, I got a raptor, bro. Can you get on my raptor? Hang on to my tail. Let's see. Guild Wars looking nice. I haven't played in forever. Yeah, it's it's that's what I said, man. Like it looks polished. It feels polished. So much more than what it was four years ago when I was playing it. Yeah, I'm not worried about Crowfall, but they have to pick up another game until launch. Absolutely, yeah. If, if you were just sitting there grinding out Crowfall right now, you would lose your mind. And, like, I don't want to burn out because I think that game's got way too much potential for me to, like, just be spending countless amount, amount of hours um, trying to keep up with a game that, you know, is uh, it, it's, it's still in the works and, you know, just doesn't have a whole lot going on in the game. Like, they're working on it, you know? All right, Dan, take it easy, buddy. Hate that you're working on July 4th, but uh, hope you have a great day, man. I forgot that the walking pass in the game's so helpful. You talking about like these little things, like the the, t the waypoints? Yeah, those things are nice. Yeah, getting ready for work too. Dead gum, guys. Why y'all working on the fourth? Y'all working retail or something? <clears throat> All right, use Panula's rifle to capture Mentors and Drakes and spear them into fighting in the pit. Okay. Are we fighting them here, or do we have to take them back to the pit, Ron? I don't think that's going to work. Okay, good. He got him. Yeah, for sure. Those waypoints are super sick. I didn't get that rifle. Maybe I should go pick up the rifle. Probably be a good idea. But yeah, so my, my purpose too, of like playing some games that are in the same genre as Crowfall is to attract, um, what the heck, is to attract some new, potential new like candidates for Crowfall. Because at the end of the day, like that game, if we want to succeed, 
we've got to attract new players and like get them excited about it just like we are so all right let's see what do we need here um how do we cap it So how do what what are we doing? I don't even know what we're doing. Whatever. I hope you know what we're doing, Ron. Get to low HP. And then press four. Oh, uh, okay. I like just pressing four anyways. When it's lit up, I just hit it. Don't kill it! Don't kill it, John! Nice, okay. See, I don't mean the waypoints. I mean the pass that you walk so you know where you have been. Oh, you're talking about the breadcrumbs. Okay. Thoughts on skill training curveball being one-tenth the rate? Um. Yeah. I mean, it, that's that's just the way it's meant to be. <laughs> I mean, um, I don't think they want... They, they're not wanting a game that's for the faint of heart. They want a game that's going to be... Uh, you know, challenging and take time. Do I think it needs to be a tenth of the rate? I, I I still think that's up for debate and like still in question. I don't think that's a done deal yet. Truthfully, uh, I would be shocked if if uh, Ryan, you killed it. I'm just kidding. I think I did. My bad. There's one over here. Hang on. It's definitely it's definitely a good debate because I think too you got to realize we're used to you know ten times faster than what it should be, and that's partially just the nature of it. But you know they have to test it, and if they don't give us you know a good testing environment, then uh, they can't test the systems. I think it's good. Hence it being MMO PvP. Yo yo yo, what's up, Kib? Welcome in, man. Good to see you, buddy. 110 also gives you reason to upgrade the VIP system, which makes the company viable and actually makes money. Yeah, so like, listen guys, at the end of the day, it's a business. And I, I, I always dislike when people are like, trying to lowball people and like, for example, if, if somebody's offering you a service and you try to like beat them down, beat them down to where they can't make money, like they're feeding their family. So similar in gaming where you got to let the game make money and make it to where they're viable instead of like wanting everything for nothing. Um, so yeah, I, I think, I think the game is, is good where it's going to be. Here's the thing. Supposedly Ron, where is like, where are you at dude? Cause I feel like you're getting all the credit for these. You got to almost be done. I'm not getting credit when you cap them. Like I don't, I, it's kind of weird to me, but whatever. Um, it's all good. Uh, you're done. Of course you are. Um, but yeah, back to the point, you know, if, if we're going to just want everything for nothing, then those games aren't going to succeed, you know, and, and, and you go back to world of Warcraft because world of Warcraft has been around for so long, but think about, you know, had that game gone to some free to play model that didn't pan out, where would it be now? You know? And so I think too many times we try to focus on, us getting something out of it instead of realizing that for us to get something out of it, the game developer needs to make money. Hit four at 50%. Okay. Better than the company offer the world and then delivering nothing because they have no money. Exactly. I would rather pay for a good game. I would rather pay a subscription and know that the game is going to continue to produce content than to, you know, wait or, or expect it for free and then a year later after I, I invest you know maybe a hundred dollars into purchasing it and getting other little things it just they go bankrupt and they stop updating you know because then I've just lost my money but it's definitely it's definitely a good good topic for discussion what what also a tenth of the the skill training time does is it makes every decision in that skill tree more important and if you're not focused on what you're doing, um, then you're going to get behind pretty quick. It also makes it to where they've got about a, from what I understand, it's going to take about two years to fully complete the skill tree. Not saying like master one line, but fully complete the skill tree. So if that's the case, that tells me they've got basically 
a year to two year buffer, depending on how you want to frame it, to um, to release new content, to build an expansion into the game, like to work on things that you know. I think most of the systems are going to be complete when the game launches, but just in case they're not, like you know, they're going to have a buffer in there to to work on some of those things. Yeah, that's what people have said. I don't know how legit that is. Um, just because, like, I haven't done the math myself. But that's kind of what I've been, people have, like, been telling me. I would say that's pretty accurate, though, to be honest. Because we don't even have the, the last part of the class skill trees. Um... Oh, what? Where did my... Do I still have my rifle in my bag? Shoot, I gotta get another rifle. I don't know how I dropped my rifle, but I dropped my rifle somehow. Just kill that for me, Ron. Also puts everyone on somewhat even playing field. Well, here's the other thing, too, which we all have to take into consideration. You know, I don't want it to be so hardcore, like, that new players can't get in and like enjoy it right away because if you do if you make it that way they're not going to stick around um and i think if you make it to where the skill tree is more powerful then it's just going to punish players new players right away so like right now the the skill tree is not so overpowered that it's going to give you some ungodly advantage that, you know, people just can't catch up. But it's going to give you a good enough edge that, like, in a fight, you know, if you're spec to do something specific against a certain build, it's going to be somewhat beneficial. But to be honest, it's, it's in my opinion, it's a skill-based game. It's a group-based, you know, how you're building out stuff. It's not really about, you know, just uh, being the most, having the most time in your skill tree. If that makes sense. I hate no lifers playing 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and then killing you that only play weekends. Yeah. This game caters to all audiences because for those who play a long time, or a lot rather, um, they're going to be rewarded because they can obviously farm and do stuff like that. Plus four condition damage. Ooh. Should I run double mace? Actually, I think I might do something like that. I want to keep some separate weapons with me to try like new stuff. All right, so let's equip that and let's put... What's my second best weapon? Um... Looks like this one is. All right, so we're going to run Axe Mace. That two-handed mace is pretty sick, by the way. By the way, you know how you said sack stuff to get to level 10 in Crowfall? Yes, arrows, specifically, if that's what you're talking about. Where'd you go, Ron? What's you up to, homie? Oh, dang, you're way out there, dude. We missed a POI, or at least I did. I'm going to go get it real quick. I'll be right back. You can sack arrows to level 10. If you make common arrows, you can keep on gaining. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that'll take you up to, uh, I think, 25 salad. It's just a matter of if you have the access to those arrows. There's a waypoint over there I didn't get either. I'm a completionist, so I gotta go do it all. Curse you, completionist mentality. All right, let's see if we have anything to sell here. I think when we talked about that, to be honest with you, Salad, I think, like, I didn't want you to, to worry about that because I felt like if you try to get so consumed with getting your vessel level up, by the time you get to that point, 
it's not really going to matter because either a the campaign's going to end or like leveling vessels is great but at the end of the day it's just it goes back to that thing that we just talked about people playing more like yeah it's going to give you a slight advantage uh okay ron i'll catch you later man thanks for playing buddy um it's going to give you an advantage, but it's not such a huge advantage that it's going to be, like, game-breaking, you know? So, like, crafted vessels to level 30 are going to give you an advantage, but it's not going to be so much that, like, you can't... If, if you're specced properly to beat a specific build, you can do it, you know? All right, defeat ghosts and squish spiders and their eggs. I'll tell you what I'm going to do real quick. Let's take a quick break. Let's give you guys an opportunity to go get some more coffee or whatever it is you're drinking this morning, this afternoon, this evening. Uh, I'm going to run downstairs, fill up my coffee cup again, and uh, we're going to keep on going. All right. I still don't understand the necromancy thing and killing your vessel. I still don't understand that fully. All right. Give me one second. We'll chat about it, Salad. I love how we're bringing the uh, the Crowfall chat to the, the, uh, the Guild Wars stream. Love it. All right. Be right back, guys. All right, I'm on my last cup of coffee. So, Sal, let's let's chat, man, about uh, necromancy. Um, I guess ask your question first. Let's let's try to be specific to what what we're looking for, what we're talking about. It'd be the first thing to make sure we're on the same page with. Do you mean killing your vessel in terms of like switching characters? Okay, so like when you go to the crypt and you change out your character, basically you have your crow inhabits your vessel. So all you all that vessel simply is, you haven't even killed it. Uh, it doesn't do anything. All it does is basically anything in your inventory, it stays in your inventory and it just goes to the next vessel. So basically you have to think as your vessel as a piece of equipment. Uh, don't think of it as a character. Think of it as a piece of equipment. So if you want to equip a different class, essentially, that's what you're doing. Um, and everything stays with the crow. What is this? Urgent! Report to your barracks! I regret to inform you on behalf of Tribune Torga Desert Grave that your warband suffered heavy casualties during the re recent defense of Smokesteed. While the Tribune considers your performance during the engagement to have been exemplary, the tragic losses to your ranks necessitate some consideration of your future with Ash Legion. Tribune Desert Grave requests that you meet her in the Black Citadel to discuss the matter. Fingar Krulmain, aide de camp to Tribune Torga Desert Grave of the Ash Legion. That is a long title. Uh, yeah, let's take that. I forgot we got that. Equip. All right, so let's uh, let's finish this. I'm not really worried about going back right now. Personal story is unlocked. All right, giggity giggity. Oh man, Sal, do you still you enjoying Crowfall though? How's your Druid been? I know you've uh, that's what you've been playing. You enjoying it? Definitely need to give some other classes a chance, especially if you haven't, you know, 
ventured out. Like, see what else is out there, man. There may be something else that piques your interest and your curiosity. All right, other than I die instantly in 1v1? Well, so here's, here's the thing about druids. You have to realize that your goal is not to... You're not going to out DPS somebody. What I mean by that is you're going to have to dance around, kite around, dot people, and just do constant pressure. That's basically your role as a, as a druid. I always co play combat medics and MMOs. Have you tried the cleric? You're not going to, you know, do anything crazy as far as damage goes, but you're going to be a combat healer as a cleric. That will be next. Yeah, definitely go give it a shot, man. I would say for sure. That would be, if, in my opinion, I think that's what you should probably look at next. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry so much about gear yet. Worry worry about finding that class you want to play. You know, get intermediate armor and just roll from there until you figure out the kit that you like. Because the armor is not going to make the kit. It's the it's the disciplines and the the class. What's down here? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Hey there, bud. Does so much damage at this low level. I feel strong. Do you now? Tell me how you really feel. So yeah, guys, if you're just joining us this morning, we are uh, we're kind of getting back into Guild Wars. It's been a good, solid like three years since we've really kind of played this game. Uh, so wanted to give it a shot. They've definitely done some stuff polishing wise to make it better uh what else do i need to do to feed ghosts and squish spiders and their eggs okay so i wasn't like squishing spider eggs let's see what's over here some more escalonian Esch archers um so yeah we're just kind of doing the playthrough i think that's what we're going to probably do the next few streams is just do playthroughs of guild wars um and really just try to get up to speed i don't know how long it'll take me to hit level 80 But I don't want to use a boost. I don't think that's the best way for me to get up to speed. What the heck? Because obviously I want to learn the game and learn the lore a bit. Before I just jump into in-game content. There's some spider eggs. There's the music. Where you been, music? I was missing my uh, interactive experience here. My uh, fully... What's the word I'm looking for? I don't even know. I went brain dead. I've been going brain dead this morning. I'm so close, man. Malign steam spear gun. Sounds interesting. Can't use it. Let's hit this guy. There we go. Nice. Immersive. Thank you. That's the word I'm looking for. See, big ba big bamboo. Bigger bamboo. Me and you were on the same page. I'm just gonna call you bamboo. Are you playing this morning, bamboo? And how much did you play last night? Sorry, I couldn't uh, stick around. Great job, Dioko TV. Well, thank you. Let's actually go check that out. I'm gonna see what that vendor has. I'm trying to make sure I stay on top of this stuff. To uh, keep getting more stuff. Dang, dude, you need some help over here? I got you, homie. All right, let me see your wares.
Nice. Wait, what did it? What? No. I didn't even realize I could do that, I don't think. I forgot about that, actually. I completely forgot. Played World vs. World for a while ago. Kill Peeps was fun. We'll be on again in like three to four hours. Nice, man. Good stuff. All right, there's a Vista over there. Let's go try to get that, actually. Uh, where is it, though? It's... Where? It's up there. I see it now. Hmm. Good thing I'm a cat. Hopping all nimbly bimbly from tree to tree. These were always cool little mini games for me. The Vistas just like... Especially there's some tough ones that you have to like really try hard on. Check out some of the artwork. It's pretty cool. Yeah, the jump puzzles are pretty cool. Awakened remnants have appeared in the area. All right, where are they? Oh my gosh, they're way over there. Ain't nobody got time for that? There's a, a POI up there. Where's our next? I guess down this way is probably our next area. I'm going to go get that POI up here. And then we'll probably hit the waypoint down here to uh, to keep carrying on. So let's head, uh, let's head north. I actually need to go, I guess I probably should go back to the Black Citadel after I get this POI and, and start my personal story. That'd probably be a good idea. Watching this makes me want to try it again. Well, go ahead and start the download if you're interested. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you can, you can obviously play it. You don't have to, it's free to play. So if you have the base, I mean, if you had the base game from a while ago, everything's still there. The only thing that's gonna change is like, you know, if you wanna get some more content, you gotta buy the expansions, which again, an expansion that's, you know, 30 bucks is a lot more easy to swallow than 60. Like a game like World of Warcraft. So just a thought, oh man. Yeah, there's a vista here. Actually, I need to get that waypoint. Let's go get that waypoint, and then we'll we'll go back. We can get that vista later. I don't know when I stopped. Like it for me, literally. Like it has birthdays for your characters. I logged on my main, and it was like three or four years. I think it was four years. I like that's nuts. It's pretty cool though that they have birthdays. All right, let's go here. I gotta remember to use the waypoints more though. I don't think I use that enough to be honest. All right. I'm about to say, hopefully you can mount here. Would you like to continue your story? The Tribune's call. Absolutely. Let's go. All right, let's go story mode, guys. What's up, Kib? Yo, you, you dropped in earlier and said, what's up? You said, yo, 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 what's up, man? At least you, made it. you didn't respond after I said, yo, yo, back. Near as I can tell, everybody's in some kind of briefing at the mustering grounds. Let's listen. Okay, so that's, I thought that was going to be like a big story. Got to go to this briefing. What you got, fam? soldier. Damn shame that the Battle of Smokestead nearly wiped out your warband. Without you, Baradin would be stomping our skulls by now. Yes, Tribune. I owe my survival to Ritlock Brimstone. He held the line until reinforcements came to take out the Duke. True. Still, Legionnaire Howe was lost in the fighting, so your warband needs a new leader. Congratulations. You're promoted to Legionnaire. Thank you, Tribune. 
I'm ready for duty. I have an operation for you. We have intel that the flame legion. Yeah, we'll do it, Bamboo. Take care, man. Have a great day, okay? Happy fourth. We have hostiles incoming. Ready for battle. Guard tribute desert grave. Survive the flame legion sneak attack. Oh, I know a thing or two about sneak attacks. I'm the Ash Legion, remember? Boom! Hammer time! Well done, Legionnaire. You're already proving your worth. As for you, Fengar, do you need to go back to the Farrar and relearn basic perimeter security? Centuries won't mess up again now that they're dead. Uh, I'll get nerds. You're lucky I was here, Fengar. The real question is, was this an attack of opportunity? Internet problems today. That's not good, Kib. They know we're on to them. Zero fun, sir. All they did was verify our intel. Their blunders are a chance. Here's your mission, Legionnaire. Go to the Serrated Blade Tavern and ask about Black Citadel Brandy. Your contact will say the barkeep waters it down. I'm told some flame sympathizers spend their time there. Discover who they are. And find something I can use to derail their plans. Questions? None. I'll be quick and quiet, Tribune. All right. So there it is. So we've got to go to the Serrated Blade, which is a tavern, and talk to our source. See again, this is stuff that like the first go around, I didn't really care. Like I didn't watch the, I didn't watch the little videos. Like none of that appealed to me, and so I'm, uh, I'm vowing to do it right this go around. Let's get this waypoint. I'll have to go around and get all the POIs and stuff here in the the Black Citadel eventually. Actually, let me check this guy. Let me sell some stuff. Sell my junk. And deposit my materials. I guess I can sell the stuff I don't I can't use. Why does it say by your profession though? Because I'm technically it's not a profession, it's a class, right? Or do they consider it a profession your your class? I don't know. That's weird. All right. Oh, I was supposed to go this way. I was reading chat. All right, so is this the serrated blade over here? The Tribune's Call. <clears throat> you there, Scrapper. This place at Black Citadel Brandy. Sure, but between you and me, the bartender waters it down. Around here? I'm surprised he's still alive to do business. Speaking of business, Desert Grave sent me. I've identified two Flame Legion spies inside the tavern. They have the password we need, but we can't attack them inside without starting a free-for-all. <clears throat> if that happens, the spies will use the chaos to make their escape, and we'll lose them for good. Ideas? I could encourage them to leave now, and without causing a scene. Really? Well, lead on. I want to see this. Hmm. I want to cause a scene, though. Find a way to get Flame Legion spies out of the bar. Let's see, what is this? Which one are they? Hmm. Flame Legion. Bouncer. Oh no. That guy's Blood Legion. We need Flame Legion. I got empty bottles. 
Oh yeah, let's let's swing at him. That's not the right thing. I am so confused. Let's get creative. What do we have to do? <clears throat> let's talk to the bartender actually. There we go. There we go. Best if we get what we need without directly engaging. That way, they can't go warn anyone. And if they catch us following them, we kill them. Then we see if you fight as well as you spy. There you go. Looks like you're out to meet someone. Let's take them. See who they work with. Good old storyline, guys and gals. Time to get to work. Hey, this might help. Ooh. Get a little cloak action, huh? I can dig it. I thought you two were hitting the serrated blade. Too many drunk troublemakers there. Couldn't get anything done. We have to drop by the hideout before we go to the camp. Keep an eye out, right? Where's the hideout, guys? The heck are you guys going? Interesting. You're sticking close to the bar. I thought they'd be a bar in the food. Burn me. I realize where they're going. Maybe that's why so many workers have been disappearing lately. Where are they going? I don't even know. Fill me in, would you? I like the stealth, though. <clears throat> I was right about the workers. Flame Legion's been killing them off and subbing in shields. Bastards. And you're reporting in without a kill? There were complications. Besides, we have business here first. Fine. Head on in and get it done. You better hope nobody followed you. Oh, we did. Assassinate the Flame Legion sentries. Those punks have the info we need. Let's take a look at this. I think this is like some sort of firewall that prevents people from hitting me. I think. I, I gotta read up on this uh, two handed mace skill tree stuff. I've just been mashing buttons, pretty much. Does a lot of damage, though. And it's good for AoE. Lots of storyline, guys. Here's where we split. Report back to camp, rookie. Hang on. They changed the password again. I forgot it already. I can't keep covering for you. They change it at random, sometimes twice a day. Who can keep track of that? Everybody but you. Fine. This is the last time. It's burnt soul now. Burnt soul. There's the info we need. What do you say? Leave now or take them out. I say we take them, Legion. Quick and quiet. I like your style. I like the way you think. Surprise! All right, looks like we did sleep in. What's up, Trey? Good, man. Last night was a late night, for sure. We were all tired by the time we got home. Where did he go? What the heck? Dang, jumping through the wall on me. Get that 
Nice. Alright, so we're good here. Report to Targa on the third floor of the Imperator's Core. Noted. We're playing this game and we're concerned about the storyline for the first time since we played it like five years ago. <laughs> so, all right, hopefully we'll finish up this this personal story and uh, get on to some more action here in just a few minutes. But this stuff is necessary to the leveling process. Did y'all have fun last night, Trey? Let's get in here. Where is it? It's upstairs, the third floor. That's right. Third floor. Uh, this is the second, I would assume. This person's up here, man. All right. Uh, I thought that was a great show. Yeah, it was really long. Like, I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever been to a fireworks show that was that long. Like, it was every bit of 25 minutes. Okay. Let's go give her our report. I mean, it was good. Don't get me wrong. It was just long. I'm, I'm always a fan of the finales, though. Like, I like to see the finales. That's my favorite thing. Torka, Blood Legion soldiers are missing, and you owe me. Hmm. I told you about the sympathizers at the bar. Now you tell me what you found there. Is this a bad time, Tribune? Zakea and the new Legionnaire are back from the Serrated Blade. Hey, hold on. I know this soldier. Fought Baradin with me. Made Legionnaire already? Excellent. Excellent. Yes, sir. Tribune Desert Grave promoted me. Smart move. And so was deploying you to spy on the Flame Legion. The Serrated Blade is the bar I was talking about. What did you find there? Back off, Brimstone. My operation. My intel. Dang. So unless you want to fight over it, I've got agents to debrief. Fengar can show you the way out. Fine. I'm putting a lot of trust in Ash here, Torga. But you've got a legionnaire I respect on the job. Because of that, I'll hold off. For now. She's ruthless. So, who is he with? Guess I missed that. He must be with, like, the legionnaire. And we're Ash Legion. Uh, my internet's so dead. What's happened, kid? What's up, man? Report. How was the operation of the Blade? Successful. We had the information and we left no witnesses. I'm impressed enough that I'm sending you in without backup. You'll be working alone on the next mission. Ready, willing, and able. We found Flame Legion's camp. I need you to get in, find out as much as you can about their plans, and get out unnoticed, or at least unnoticed by anyone left alive. Of course, any special instructions. You'll need this disguise to enter their camp. Don't let Flame Legion catch you. Brimstone may lose soldiers, but I don't. I'll be careful. You can count on it. One last thing. The attack on our barracks has convinced me we should move headquarters. Brimstone agrees. Return to the new location when you're done. Noted. I'll report in when the mission's accomplished. Good luck in your next mission. Tribune's call. Select your reward. Um. Do I want to go for a different stat or... I may do plus three power, actually. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Actually, um, what is all this? A lot of it's pretty much useless. All right. Uh, we'll equip these. All right, we're all set. What is this? This is my update. Level 11 re rewards. Plus 5 hero po points. Unlock new skill slots with hero points. Okay. A legend slot unlocked. I need to actually check these out. Let's see what this is about. 
let's see build it's level 21 training okay legendary dwarf invoke hammers to circle around you damaging foes so I have to actually train these what is this currently that's a legendary dwarf stance how many does it take four okay interesting um I don't know this sounds pretty cool damage healing let's see Why won't it let me see the other ones? Does that mean I can't train it yet? I am so confused. I am confuzzled. Legendary Assassin's Stance. I guess I already have... I already have that, it would appear. I guess this is a skill though. Okay, that's what that is. This is a, this is a profession skill, that's a utility skill. Okay, so I think this right here is a profession skill, right? Let's make sure I'm getting this. Yeah, utility skills. And then where is... I guess that would be it. I don't know, man. This is interesting. What is this utility? Okay, so that's minus 20% incoming damage, 20% incoming condition damage. Number of hammers, three, radius 180, unblockable. I guess we'll train this first. And then we'll put that, yeah, down here. Okay. We'll get into some of these profession skills later. I'm not really there yet. All right. All done. Sorry, guys. Again, we're trying to relearn this game and, and make sure we don't miss a beat. Uh, so I want to make sure we do that. This character will likely be our stream character that we'll only play while we're streaming. So if I play offline, it will be another character. So that way, if, if you guys are want to follow along, we can kind of pick up where we left off. Kib, what's wrong with your internet, man? Why are you having problems? Learning from the snipes? What do you mean from that? Offline character and online character? Oh, yeah. I mean... Guess with Guild Wars, not as bad. No, not at all. It, it really doesn't even matter, truthfully, because I mean you can't you can't get PK'd unless you're PVPing. I would stream Shroud of the Avatar, and it was horrible. I gave up streaming. Shroud of the Avatar is not a good game. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know Bakitos plays it, and I'm sure you're kind of part of his gang that that played it. But I just did not like it one bit. Um. It just wasn't, to me, it wasn't very fun. What's up, Pew Pew Official? Welcome into the stream. Good to see a new face around here. Yeah, I just, I really, I really could not get into Shroud of the Avatar. To me, it was not, uh, left a lot to be desired because of, of what they sold it as. I wish I could go back and refund the money I spent on that right now, but I can't. Oh, I'm leaving it? Well, yeah, you are, because Crowfall's a much better game. Yep, in all caps, he says. Pew Pew, what's up? Did you uh, just randomly stop by? Check us, checking us out on the Guild Wars browser. All right, so where do we... So we got to go down here and activate it from here. All right, let's go in here and... A spy for a spy. It's a pretty cool artwork. I followed you. You followed me. When did you follow me? Did you follow me while I was online? How long ago? But welcome in, regardless. Sometimes the people that I don't actually have a chance to say hi to when they follow is 
It uh, doesn't click as well. I see you guys in my emails, but it's hard for me to remember if you don't do it live on stream. You may have. I can't remember. I'm trying hard to, to keep up with everybody. All right, infiltrate, infiltrate the Flame Legion camp. Uh, do you have Rocket League? I do, yes. All right, Salad. Enjoy, your, uh, enjoy the salt you're about to partake in. I can't play that game, man. The only thing I can play are... A Rams with friends. I just won't play the legit version of that game. Not so. I, I I tried to spend some time learning that and playing it. What do you want? I'm infiltrating the Iron Legion. I need to be briefed. You want detailed a detailed briefing? Prove you know the basics. Name one of the Iron Legion Tribunes. Mmm. Torga. Wrong. She's Ash Legion. Scritwit. Maybe I should introduce you. She'd cut your throat before you ever saw the blade. Maybe that'd help you remember. That's rude. Did you do your homework, Cookie? Ready to answer my simple question? The plan falls apart. If you can't pass for iron, prove to me you're not hopeless. Name one of the two Iron Legion Tribunes. Brimstone. <laughs> See, I'm learning right now because I, I, I forgot what that guy was. I knew Torga wasn't part of that because I'm Ash Legion. Even my Doliac knows that. Wow, this guy's really rude. I don't like him. We don't have time for games. Just tell me the plan. Okay, so it's definitely Bure Goreblade. Finally, was that so hard? Now I can tell you the plan. Hurry, we've already wasted too much time. Got up to gold. I want to get a team. Oh, snap. You need to talk to Fatalistic and Hunter in Discord. Um, salad. So, by the way, guys, if you have not joined the Discord, the Discord server is down below. Feel free to join up on that. Uh, it actually helps when, like, I'm playing games like Crowfall or Guild Wars 2 or WoW or something like that. Like, if somebody wants to play alongside of me, it, it helps to know who's playing what game at what time. Which, actually, I think... Yeah, it's... Showing I'm streaming. It won't show the game. It just shows I'm streaming. All right. Who are you? Some scrapper out to join the winning legion before it's too late. Um, the mission is too important to waste time. Please. What did I miss? Did you say please? You'll never pass this bullet coward talk like that. Prove you can beat me in a fight. Maybe I'll tell you what. I'll, okay. All right. I, I guess I'll kill you, bud. We're really going to do this, huh? You really want a tango, huh? That's a pretty cool little ability there. How long does that last? Does that always stay up? If so, that's kind of cool. What is that? Control and mouse to enable auto attack. So that's like, wow, that's kind of crazy. Does that like drain me of anything? Oh, it does. Okay, I see the power it's draining now. Gotcha. That's, I mean, but that goes up pretty easily. So that's going to be tough to drain. Eyeballing me is a dangerous habit, soldier. What do you want? I've been briefed to op the operations are looking forward to it. Can you tell me more? Thanks to Tribulus, Grief Blades, hard work and cunning, iron fights, blood, blood fights iron, and the winners is flame. Get ready to move out. Okay. Sir, yes, sir. Weird. Just got a decoding error. Had to reload stream. Interesting. You cowards. Yeah, you do. You're wasting your time, flame freak. Torture me all you want. I won't talk. I like pain. In fact, pain makes me purr. Great. 
Let's see. I said, quiet. I'm not the Flame Legion, and I'm not here to torture you. Great. Get me out of here. They're going to kill me slowly, and that's my least favorite way to get killed. I'll get you out. What's the key? The Jailer has it, but it's chaos here. Where's the key? Not what's the key? Uh, with the big attack looming, there's new orders coming down all the time. Soldiers running around like Moaz with their heads cut off. All right. So let's ask this dude for the key. Can I have the key, bro? Uh, watch it. You're in my territory now. What do you want? I've got new orders from the Centurion regarding this prisoner. More new orders? This is crazy. The right Paul doesn't know what the left Paul is doing. What is it this time? Uh, routine security checks and rotation. I'll cover your station. At least that makes sense. Watch the prisoner. He's a tricky one, just like all elementals. I'll be back soon. Perfect. All right. Did I get the key? I don't care if I... As long as I got the key. I hope you're, you're tight. Yeah. hope you're taking me the with you this time it's much better to rescue if you take the rescuee with you quiet i've got the key once i take care of the guards we're home free wait these devils tortured me and killed my whole war band if there's fighting to be done i want a piece of them before i go okay i hope all this time in the cage hasn't made you rusty let's go dude yeah boy Also, okay, it doesn't allow me to actually regen while I'm using that ability. That's interesting. What the? I gained more than I was like I'm losing a, a lot more of that power than I was originally I guess it's because there we go auto attacks are causing it to go up I'm trying to study how this mechanics of this ability works utility ability it's pretty nice Let's go kill this boss. Let's do it. Pretty nasty. I like that ability actually. It's pretty cool. Feels good to get out of that flame legion disguise. You look much better now. Blood of the Conqueror. You saved my life. I wish I could have done the same for your war band. The Flame Legion wanted the Citadel Watch roster. Killed my friends one by one to get it. I was next. I hear you. Ghosts. An incompetent slaughtered most of my band. But you don't have to be a Gladio. Throw in your lot with us. Gladly. I owe you my life. Just promise me that we'll pave the Citadel streets in Flame Legion carcasses. Ooh. Count on it. For now, get to safety. I like the way this guy talks. It's outside. nice. Wave, say you're with me. They'll get you to the Citadel. I'll meet you there when I'm done. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So how much of this game like is realistically like storyline versus random questing? Like, I, I don't want to be constantly doing storyline for action's sake. All right, let's see. Um, but I do understand that's part of the process. Let's go. Let's go. Continue on with this. All 
Guys, again, welcome in. If you are new here, thanks so much for dropping by. Uh, my name's Dioko. This is obviously kind of Dioko TV, I guess you can call it. But uh, we're playing Guild Wars. We're kind of, we played the game a lot back in the day, but we didn't really spend a whole lot of time learning the storyline. So my goal and task in playing it is to relearn it, kind of do a playthrough of the storyline and just kind of get an idea of, of what's going on. So eventually we'll get into all the, the fun PvP and World Wars of the World and all that stuff. But right now, we're going to try to uh, get reacclimated with some of the systems and, and just kind of get up to date on things that have changed over literally like probably a three or four year span. So, anyways. I have information. Flame Legion is going to trick Blood and Iron. Making each think the other attack them. The plan works. It might break the Citadel's alliance. They're targeting Iron's new weapon and a Blood Legion security. The whole thing was cooked up by someone named Trivialist Greek Blade. He's real trouble. Blood and iron need to know now so they can prepare. No. This is an ash <coughs> operation. Blood and iron would make a Drake's breakfast out of it. Oh, snap. We'll handle it ourselves. The Legionnaire will take one mission. Fengar can handle the other. Fengar? Tribune. Fangar's not experienced enough for something this big. I'll do no. Sakea, your orders are to track down Griefblade. Fangar, you finally got your chance for field duty. Now, Legionnaire, you brought the intel, so we'll make it your call. Guard Iron's engine or Blood Centurion. Decide and move out. Hmm, interesting. Alright, so we have a decision to make. Um, I feel like Iron my own operation this is what i've been waiting for I'm excited for you good luck all right so let's see uh the choice is yours will you defend blood or iron um i'll help the iron legion defend their siege engine that leaves the blood legion mission for fingar our contact simona iron call works at the machinery warehouses meet her there we'll do the flame legion won't lay a paw on iron's war machine all right, there we go. Spy for a spy has been completed. Nice work, team. Um, I guess we'll use the axe. Perfect. Okay. All right, I'm going to use the restroom real quick and talk with my wife, figure out what's going on, and then uh, I'll be back in just a second, guys. Give me one moment. One moment. Un momento, por favor. All right, 
Just trying to get a game plan for what we're doing today. Let's uh, let's continue on. Um, we're supposed to meet outside this HQ. Man, teleporting is so nice. Not having to run everywhere. Amazing. I guess I probably could have just teleported to where I wanted to go instead of to the exit. Oh well, hindsight 2020. I thought that was actually where I was supposed to go. I didn't realize it was out here somewhere. Okay. So we shall teleport here and run from there. Tell you what, man, that the mount is completely worth the thirty dollars you're gonna spend for the Path of Fire expansion, just in terms of savings time and, and such. Iron Grip of the Legion. That's where we are in the story. Okay, meet Simona Ironclaw outside Exterminatus HQ, which is where we're at here. So you're Simona. I'm your contact. We've got Flame Legion incoming. I need to move my Legion? overlay. I knew I smelled sulfur. Get it? Soul? Fur? Fur? Your nose is better than your sense of humor. They'll be disguised as Blood Legion. And they want to destroy Iron's shiny new siege engine. Gears and grinders. That would put us at Blood's throat for sure. Those grunts already mishandle and break everything we build them. How do we stop this? By being one step ahead, you and I position near the engine and ambush the Flame Legion imposters before they can do any damage. Not bad, but the weapon's in a classified level warehouse, and there's no time to get clearance. I like her horns. We'll have to make our own clearance. The Flame Legion may already be in there. It's like one broke, and she like repaired it with a, a cogwheel and uh, some other stuff. It's interesting. It's a cool little look to it. All right, so let's go complete like this. this part of the mission. Something's not right. It's too quiet. It's too quiet. It's all right. Just let me get this door open, and we'll see what's what. Oh, rust it all. The door's locked. But don't worry. Simona's on your side. I'll unjam that junker in a jiffy. Simona, do you always talk this way? I was about to say. What way, Grumpy? I think out loud. After years in the machine bay, I need some noise while I work. If you can get that door open, you can shatter all you want. Blades out! Somebody's here! Kill them all fast and messy. We still have to take out the weapon. Hey, Simona. Our Blood Legion buddies are here. Keep working. I'll handle this. Alright, let's go kill some people. Let's do it. I need more action. Give me some fighting, you know? I guess that's why I didn't really do the storyline much before. It's because, like, I need the fighting. Let's do it. Of course they are. Second and third teams? Jeez, how many of you guys got in here? Yeah, so the two-handed mace is definitely not a one-handed or a uh, a one-mob kind of weapon. That's more of a get your AOE hits in and then switch back. Okay, so is that enough? Or I guess we gotta kill this guy up here.
Can I kill him? Invulnerable. Well, that's lame. Oh, there's another one over there. I was about to say, where are they at? There's some more up there. There we go. I don't know why you guys were so far behind. That guy may have been bugged out over there in the corner. That makes sense. This is what I'm talking about. The action. This is what we need. Let's go. Their commander is getting mad. Because we're owning them. Here he comes. Here's the big daddy. Here's what we've been waiting on. Got owned. Get owned. Speak with the Iron Legion Centurion. Hey, over here. Let's do it. Soldiers are flames, sir. Dressed to trick us into blaming blood. This Ash Legion agent tipped me off about a sabotage attempt. You rushed in without a superior officer and brought an Ash spy into our secret project. I've had it, Simona. No more inventing. You're on kitchen patrol until your tail turns gray. Kitchen patrol, eh? But I. Pistons and plugs. That'll teach me to be proactive. I hate scrubbing floors with a toothbrush. Me too. Not if I can help it. See this as an opportunity and come join my warband. Really? A spot on your team? That's 101 times better than degrouting cylinder heads. That's the spirit, Simona. Grab your things and meet us at Heroes Camp. It's crazy how, like, we just pick up all these random people. Like, for example, that... You know, she was a part of that team, and she's like, "No, nah, I'm good. Like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna jump ship now and come to them." That's crazy. All right, do you want vitality? I don't know if I want to go all. I think vitality will be good on the chest piece. Maybe I can focus on some other, other stats, some of the other pieces. All right, what is this? Uh, upgrades. Upgrade items, improve your equipment performance, double click and upgrade, and then click on a piece of gear with an unused upgrade slot to fuse the upgrade to the gear. Okay. Aha, salvaging finally. Nice, good. And then crafting. Perfect. Let's do. Let's use that. Perfect. All right, let's go roam around for a bit. Um, we've got a few more minutes left of the stream, so we'll just roam around. We won't get into any more story. Um, tell you what, let's deposit all the materials we've got and see. Anything usable here? It's gonna give us one more defense, but gonna lose that power. Kind of like the power. Oops. There we go. Double click to gain 50 luck. What does 50 luck do? It's a crafting material. No? Let's see. Wardrobe outfits. What do I look at my stats? Here we go. Let 
Where's my luck? I don't have any. So what does that do? Double click to gain 50 luck. Oh, there it is down there. No, it's magic find. That's not luck. It looks like luck. Maybe that's what it is. I just used it. <laughs> uh, luck helps with magic find. So like the rarity of items obtained type deal. Oh, okay, cool. What's up, Con1123? Welcome in. I figured as much, but it didn't move that at all. So, interesting. Cool. Alright, let's go figure out where we want to go. I think the last place we stopped... Good morning. I think we're going to go down here and explore this area for a bit and see what we can do here. So, let's do that. Just browsing some Guild Wars 2 streams or what? Uh, quick crowfall question. What does the plus 80 catch your breath do? On the rune scarred gladiator i mean discipline not rune uh plus 80 catch your breath hold on one second let me look and see what you're talking about i don't even know what that is as a matter of fact let's put this back up here um hang on let me look because I, I don't even know to be honest what you're talking about um uh, crowfall disciplines yeah i've been playing guild wars 2 for a super long time haven't really checked out any of the streamers well Here's the thing. I just started playing it again for the first time in like three years. So <laughs> you probably are a lot more knowledgeable than I am, which is completely okay. We don't mind backseat gaming here. Uh, it's really not a big deal. All right. So plus 80 enhanced catch your breath. I think what that is for um, is probably for um, like when you get knocked down or something, it kind of helps retaliate and stuff like that. If you look under your stats, so like go to your character sheet and then open details. I'm sure you can find a catch your breath uh, stat line in there. There are some weird stat lines like that in Crowfall that you just kind of have to like dig down deep and look for. Hopefully that helps. And good morning, Bosk. Welcome in. Uh, no, no. I think it's cool to see people play through the first time. Well, see, here's the thing. I've got a level 80. <laughs> so it's not necessarily my first time. Um, I haven't played through it, though. Like I've been, I've had the game for a long time, but I've never done like a true like playthrough you know what i mean so um i guess in a way it's my first playthrough but in a way it's not too you know all right so i think i don't know what precision is like my critical chance right increases critical hit chance yeah okay and then power is obviously my attack power i don't know i kind of like my my attack power but it's not really going to make a, a big difference if i go one way or the other at this stage of the game Maybe down the road, it would be more important. All right, we're going to keep these. Actually, I don't need that axe anymore. I definitely don't need that axe, I don't think. Yeah, this one's definitely worse for wear. All right, maybe check two for repairs, actually. I guess I can't repair. Yeah, so back in the day when I played this game, I played it like just for the PvP aspect. I didn't really... I played it with a group of people... I just wanted to get to max level to play with them. And it was one of those things where I just didn't give it a good good enough like chance, you know? And so now I've now that I stream and kind of play at my own pace, I uh I definitely wanna like take my time and get through it because while it may not be like great content for people watching, it's gonna be good for me to like know the game if I if I spend some extended amounts of time. Um we typically stream is that the only one she's going to show me? I think so. We typically serve a game called Crowfall, which why that's why Boss asked me a question. Um, but uh, right now it's in between patches, and so I figured this would be a good game to kind of kill some time. I think it's a little premature to, to mess around with uh, World of Warcraft BFA, so we're going to mess around with this then. In the meantime, in the interim, hey, there's some hero points over here. But yeah, Con, if you have any uh, any any tips, any suggestions, please let me know. Don't be afraid to uh, voice your thoughts. And if there's anything I'm missing, feel free to help me out. I would appreciate it. Right on. I just finished up here 120 on the BFA beta, actually. Nice. I have not... I, I don't have the beta. I literally just resubbed like two days ago. So none of that for me just yet.
Cool. So we got the hero point there, right? All right, so we'll light torches to guide patrols and thin out ghosts in the boss. Noted, I can do that. And yeah, it's a super good game. The latest XX is really good. I think ArenaNet did some cool stuff. Yeah, and you know, to be fair, like, as I just said a few minutes ago, I really didn't give this game a good shot in terms of like, sticking with it long term um, in the past. And I really just kind of wrote it off until somebody mentioned it the other day on stream. I was like, you know, maybe I should give that game another shot. And so I bought Path of Fire. And um, yeah, I just said, you know, let's let's give it a good opportunity. I really did like the war map. Yeah, and that's I'm going to get into the obviously the PVP is going to be important to me. Where are these torches at, by the way? I haven't seen any. Unless that's a torch up there. It probably is. Um, are you talking about for uh, World of Warcraft salad? Are you talking about World vs. World and Guild Wars? Oh, you're talking about Guild Wars. You're talking about jump puzzles for sure. Let's see what the scouts got for us. Dock shipyard are at the forefront of underwater technology, but they're constantly harassed by wildlife. Found it. Not to mention the separatists. The value at which your champion's passive healing activates it. Must continue unimpeded. Khan 1123, thanks man for the follow. Again, welcome in and uh, appreciate it. Why didn't that show up on my actual what? Didn't show up on my launch control. That's weird. Let me restart that bad boy. I'm using stream elements for the first time instead of uh, stream labs. And so I say for the first time, I've been using it now for probably in the last two or three streams. Let's see if that loads up. Uh, World versus World Jump Puzzle was brutal knocking people off and stuff. <laughs> I can imagine that would be pretty hilarious. Just sitting at up at the top, just knocking people off so they couldn't get it. Okay, this is too far down. Needs resin him. Which, by the way, guys, um, just so you guys know, obviously today is was a, a an additional stream, a bonus stream, so to speak. Um, tomorrow we'll stream our, our typical schedule at night. Saturday morning though, we will not be streaming like we typically do. Uh, Sunday we will, however. I've got some guys coming to finish up my, my backyard um, or work on my backyard and I'm gonna have to oversee them uh, because they're actually my guys and not a contractor. So um, so Saturday we won't have morning coffee with Yoko. Sunday we will, no worries. That'll remain as, as, uh, as planned. And then next week's schedule is gonna be a, a bit off too because of uh, I've got to travel for some work uh, later in the week. So Thursday through Sunday probably won't happen next week, which kind of stinks, but July is going to be a month of, of lots of travel for me, unfortunately. Uh, we'll try to get some streams in when we can, though, make up for it as much as we can. But just, again, stay tuned to the, the schedule below. I'll update that as frequently as I can. Also, the Discord will have the announcements as to when I go live. So if you guys are in that server, if you're not, I encourage you to do so. Uh, would be great just to kind of stay up to date on everything and I need to start I need to start doing some more stuff with people that are in there uh, in terms of like giving you guys some Some cool stuff. We may we may make it more interactive and uh, try to do some giveaways to you guys for being loyal supporters of the discord Dang this hammer nice Actually, let's go back and get that ore where did you come from? You just like spawned on us, you jerk. Alright, let's get this iron ore and I'm gonna go check that vendor and see if there's anything on it that we can get. All right, 
it. So, Bosk, are you playing... Uh, what sort of character are you playing right now that would make you bring that up, by the way? I'm just curious. Can I only equip one ring? I was thinking I could, could equip more than one. Yeah, it's only one. No, two. Okay, cool. I thought so. Is that two amulets, too? Two accessories. Okay, one amulet, one back piece. I gotta get caught up to speed on all this stuff, man. I just started playing around with a champ. I usually play ranger, but sometimes our group needs more beef. It's a it's a great uh, it's a great pickup. I think you'll enjoy it. Champion's a fun class. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to give you some some things that made it my life easier. Anyways, all right. So did we get everything down here? We did. Okay, we didn't get that vista though, which we can come back and get these. Vistas. I also didn't get that hero point. I can come back and get those. I'm a completionist, man. So I gotta I gotta get all this stuff. Okay, we've gotten that one. That one's done. Um, that's a long way to go. I feel like we're getting kind of out of our our area. I think like over in here would be better. But there's no scout to kind of show us that area either. I'll tell you what, let's go. Let's go a little north. Kind of uncover some more stuff here. See what we can do. Actually, we'll get that vista too over here. I remember you ran Runescar Gladiator, and that's why I asked you about Catch Your Breath. Gotcha. And it's the value at which your champion's passive healing activates at. So with that, there's a an, an ability, I think, under Runescar Gladiator. I'll have to look and see. Make sure I'm telling you right. Um, no, there's a passive. So what it is, when you're out of combat for so long, and this is what that's referring to, I think it's five seconds by default, that's going to activate that heal quicker. Uh, so it, it's going to be quicker than five seconds. I think is what it means. Can I get up here? No. Uh, I guess... Is that the way I even want to go? No. Looks like it's back around the side. Yeah, it is. It's back around here. Okay. Um, so yeah, it, it's a passive... That you'll have to equip and then obviously like it reads it'll lessen that five second time okay cool found it i don't know that i want to do this with on my mount eh, no i really don't second wind yeah that's correct i couldn't remember the name of it i gotta be better about remembering discipline names because we, we talk about them so frequently that knowing them will help me kind of explain to people what I'm talking about. Guys, one last thing too, just before I'm, the stream is going to be over in probably the next 15, 20 minutes. Just, we always do this once a stream just to kind of hit it but if you guys have twitch prime or you don't have twitch prime and are curious about how to get twitch prime and you have amazon prime you can hit exclamation mark prime in chat uh it's just a way to get a couple things first of all you're gonna get free games you're gonna get free stuff in in certain games if they're running specials uh you're also going to get a free sub to a channel that uh you support you like maybe there's a streamer you like that you want to support them with twitch prime is a good way to do that um so Again, exclamation mark prime. We don't uh, we don't throw that out much, but we do it. We try to do it maybe once a stream just to like get people that don't know about it engaged. Because believe it or not, a lot of people don't know about Twitch Prime. We've had multiple people come by and be like, "What is what is what are you talking about, Twitch Prime?" You have to explain it to them, and then they're like, "Oh, cool! I didn't know I could get all that with just an Amazon Prime account." If you're younger, just use your parents' Amazon Prime. It costs them nothing. It's free with Amazon Prime. All right, let's see. B 
Bam. I love Khan. Um, yeah, Khan, 1123. What do you think about the Revenant? Is it pretty strong right now? Would you say it's in a good place? I feel like it's it's a really fun class. And I just don't know how it does in-game. I feel like it's good, but then again, I feel like probably every class is going to be pretty strong early game. Just to kind of get you engaged. Rev is good. I personally think they're super fun. I do too. I like their kit. I like uh, with some of their weapon abilities and stuff. I think it's pretty fun. Where are these guys going? These guys are just running past us. What the heck, man? Uh, hope you have a great fourth, everyone. Time for me to take off. Misty, thanks for hanging out this morning. I hope you have a great fourth as well. Hope you enjoyed your, your coffee this morning with us, Misty. In game, they're really interesting in terms of how they play. They can do a lot. So they're they're pretty versatile. That's good. It's good to know. Two percent, Escalonians remaining is two percent. Dang, that was so much damage. I got them all on the line. That was pretty sweet. Yeah, I mean, like obviously there is the meta builds, but I think they can be played to preference, in my opinion. Well, and that's the thing. I think you just gotta play what you enjoy. Oh dang, I've got nine of those I need to mess with. Conditions. What? The wheel of progress turned. Alright, let's see. I know a lot of builds are condition damage. It's just like dots and stuff. Launch a chain at your target. When the chain connects with the foe, it slows and taunts them. Kind of want to train assassin stance. You've learned a legendary. Okay, hang on. Let's get out of this real quick. Summon enchanted daggers that will attack as you attack. Siphoning life from the top. Ooh. Have three left. Let's try it. Why not? Perfect. But also, and I think this is more bad a build, power precision ferocity dual swords. Definitely some stuff we'll have to check out in the metas, no doubt. It looks like those stances kind of give you some different options too. That's something they've changed with the masteries that was not there when I played previously. Which is good. I'm glad they're kind of reinventing their game a bit. All right. Uh, yeah, about 10 more minutes left, guys. We're going to just kind of run around and we'll defend this little pack here before we call it a day. Let's check out this little healing thing we got here.
Get all my loot. The new Mesmerville they introduced in Path of Fire was super interesting. Like, super broken or just, like, super interesting to play? Just as cool. It's called the Mirage. Okay. I feel like there's so much like AOE that can be done with this class and its weapon skills. Everything's pretty much in a line though too though. So that kind of makes it interesting, but a positional it's about positional, you know, awareness and like lining up your enemies. I personally play Thief. Also, sorry. No, you're not spamming chat, man. It's completely okay. Uh, we don't mind it one bit. I like having conversations. I'm a very interactive streamer. At least I like to think I am. So, don't, uh, don't, don't apologize for being interactive. I appreciate it. And, ag and again, I'm, I'm glad to have you. Hopefully, you've uh, enjoyed your time so far. Why are we walking so slow? Let's go. Why about ghost haunting Escalon, Ascalon City? Level 14. Man, this, this class is so much fun with those big AoE fights, dude. I love it. Just do so much damage, I feel like. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just like actually kind of weak and it's other people around me, but I feel like I'm doing a lot of damage. Dang, still going? Sitting at work? Yeah, Bamboo, we're about to hop off here in a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to go to the pool. with the uh, My wife and son have already left. I figured I'd... I usually like to go for three hours. We're just over three hours now, so we're going to finish this escort quest up, I think, and call it a day. So. Just want to... I don't know. I'm enjoying it, so I don't want to... I don't want to stop. to defend the mortars. Oh. Excuse me. Sorry. I know that probably makes you guys yawn too. So much damage. So much AoE damage. Yeah, you'll see that Rev gets some super cool skills. 
In terms of masteries or just like weapon skills? Weapon skills and your skills there on the right have some really cool animations. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, and that's that's a big part of it, too, is, like, the animations. I think people downplay, like, the importance of having those, to be honest. I just feel like there's just so much AOE with the build I'm running currently. The mace, one-handed mace and the two-handed mace is pretty, pretty sick. And then not to mention the uh, utility ability with the, the flying maces, like that just does more. So it's all like, I don't know, it just seems really AOE based, at least with what I'm running currently. What are you doing over there, homie? Yeah, you'll be melting stuff in open world PvE as a ref. Nice. Looking forward to it. One minute remaining. I need to like, I'm gonna go mess around with crafting here in a bit. Like, well, I say a bit, I mean like, like the next, today, at some point. Definitely wanna check it out. Make some heavy armor for this guy. Crafting is important. So where do you get, I was, I was asking earlier, where do you get most of your gear from? Crafting? All right. It's not that difficult to get into. Cool. All right. I think that's going to do it for me, guys. That's, uh, I'm going to call it a day on that note. So I uh, just want to thank each and every one of you guys for hanging out this morning. It's been a good time. Obviously, a little bonus stream because of uh, the fourth holiday. But nonetheless, I uh, hope you guys have a great 4th of July. We'll be back tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Check the schedule below to see when that applies to you. And, uh, yeah, thanks again. We'll catch you tomorrow night. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.